Uh, countdowns be damned. We're live. Oh my lord. Hello, hello, people. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Fetchet here in Starfield form. It's looking a little weird in Starfield, to be honest. I don't think I caught the face quite right. It's it's a little bit, a little bit flat. It needs to be more pudgy. Anyway, how you doing? Yeah, it's me, Spatula. We're back in Starfield, episode four. Um, my lord, what a journey it's been. Um, I, 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 by the way, I'm so like um, tired again today because did the same thing the Friday jamming until ungodly hours. But um, Starfield is a great, fun way to relax. Um, though I think I'll be um, switching back and playing a little bit of Elite next week. But my kind of like I have not played. You can turn it on the ground. Can I not move you? No! Okay, just move you. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. It's like the Godfather. Instead of a horse head, you wake up and there's a slipper in your bed. Um, hold on. How do I get rid of that helmet? I really don't like the inventory system in this. Although I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, and, um, well, let's just, let's just say, like... I don't know what a good inventory system looks like anymore. <laughs> Why can't the video game companies make the good, the good in Where'd it go? Why is it on the floor again? Okay, hold on. No! no, no, no. Okay, so hold E to equip. That's what's going on. So apparently if, if something is like... Can I just... I want to put it on the bed. What if I face... It seemed to drop behind me, so what if I face this way? Drop it this way. Uh, and by the way, hello, Dark Heavy. Hello, Lude. How are you? How are you folks doing today? Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, and Lude, you kind of hate Sarah. Oh, no, I actual combat. I don't have the program. Um, you hate Sarah. She's my favorite. I, I don't know how good the other companions are, but Sarah's my favorite. She's sarcastic and just kind of like bougie and snooty, and I love it. Um, so far, she's been a hilarious companion that I've had a lot of fun traveling with. If you hate Sarah, I think you can just ask the other companions to come with you to send her back to the farm. But dude, actually, can I sit in the seat? You cannot use this at this time. Although, duh. No, but Sarah's my favorite, man. I think she's one of my favorite Bethesda companions. Like, her, her little uh, snarky lines and like interjecting and just attitude is, 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 is a perfect little uh, side, side piece to my wacky adventures. Uh, pastry, some stock cubes, seasoning, then oven cooking for four plus hours. Mm. So it sounds like something's cooking. But yeah, so... Hello, uh, Captain. Hello. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot I hired you. I, I just hired you because I liked your haircut. You're actually kind of useless, but I love the fact that you have crew, and then they come and sit in the ship, and they kind of man systems. Like, how awesome is that? Can you imagine if, if Elite just expanded the NPC crew a little bit, even just to the point, no, I don't want to walk around in ships, but let me have the crew sit on the bridge like this, and they can press buttons on the computer. This woman's playing Captain Galaga. Um, and, and, you know, say things occasionally, and just kind of talk, and eventually give a ship interior. So that, oh, this is so, I love, I love this game. I love it, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I've not been playing Starfield outside of the stream, so like, I'm gonna, my plan is basically to document my entire first playthrough as a full series or whatever, live, full of warts and all, so that you may see the glory of this wonderful, wonderful game. Now here we are, we're actually, so, so, okay, so basically, where are we? Um, let's see here. What have we done? Oh, darn, I can't find the description right now. Hold on. I can do this. How do I go to my own channel? Sorry about the audio situation. It's probably gonna loop for a second here. Here we are. Whoa, 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 so, whoa. So, whoa. Um, yeah. Okay. So here's what's here's what's happened so far in the Starfield. Is I touched an artifact and became very a special special character. I put buckets on people's heads. I picked up all of the things. I joined a space cult. I messed up my room, met my parents, visited Earth, got finagled into an undercover pirate narc operation. I put up frog posters for a child, killed a bunch of heat leeches, free climbed a building, made a robot tell me jokes, talked down some mercenaries to help a shopkeeper, and I used my snake-like uh, snake cult powers to avoid a fight. And then last, we landed on Venus and, and raided um, just like a random base just for loot purposes, uh, which was fun. Well, useless, but I like your hair, you're hired. Well, that's that's my logic. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, I can hire people. And I like your hair, you're, you're hired. 
But yeah, Venus is kind of a cool little landscape, actually. It was just like we just ran, randomly landed on a part of Venus. But um, what I'm going to try to do today is just like advance as much of the main plot and not get distracted by the front side quests. Um, there are two plots that I'm interested in. Obviously the artifact stuff, but I also really like the infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. So I may do that if like if I if like the plot advances me to another system and that other side quest is there, I'll progress that one too. Um, but without further ado, I guess we got to go figure out where the heck we're going. Um, hi Venus. So we need to go. Uh, where is this? Oh, we have to go to the moon. How fun is that? We get to go to the moon. Look at Earth. It's a chunky boy. It's creates a little bit of gravity there. You can kind of see the gravity waves. I actually really like that in the UI. You can sort of see like the rippling gravity that that hits my uh, my space uh, space boner. Um. But yeah, we went. We actually landed on Earth before, and it's kind of a wasteland. It's sort of nothing, nothing there, nothing there of note. You can see there, yeah, we have a couple landing areas. Apparently, you can find stuff on there, but you have to find them in books or something. I don't, I don't, I can't read. What the hell? Uh, but yeah, we gotta go to the moon, which is awesome. You can't go to the moon in Elite, but it's in. But what game is it? Starfield. Apparently, you can go to the moon. So that's awesome. Hopefully, we can land on it. It doesn't get permit locked until later. And this is how you travel. Kind of simplistic, kind of eh, but you know, whatever. Okay, uh, oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their Star Yard hasn't been running in forever. Uh, okay, so let's see if Vanguard, the Vanguard Moara is in that star yard. Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon! Well, if you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Yes! Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. See, how could you not like Sarah? She's totally cool with just being like, yeah, like, okay, fine. We can go on the moon, you stupid idiot. Um, and that is exactly what I want to do, because I, I, I need to go to the moon. Mining outpost. That's on the dark side of the moon. Um, like, where's like the Armstrong landing? Is that in the game? Can I go uh, ruin the footprints? I guess you have, maybe you have to also unlock that. Well, let's just find a random part of the moon. I just want to land on the moon. Pretend I'm I'm Buzz Armstrong or Neil Lightyear. Turn off the background music, it's washing Oh no, okay, okay. Now let me know if the levels are acceptable. I can actually turn down the desktop a little bit. Put it at like negative three dBs and maybe put the microphone up to negative four. A what? A horse? Accidentally clicked out the stream. Hold on, it's still working. It's still working. so. You think Sarah is a a horse horseret? What the hell is a horseret? What does that mean? Hold on, I gotta put my space down. Um, wait, 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 wait. Where's my helmet? <laughs> I need that to breathe, right? Look at me. I know the things. Okay, so can I maybe I'll turn down the music a little bit. Agio. Gucci at 56, okay. See how that works. Let me know if that works. Alright. We're going for an Armstrong moment. Oh, a hoserette! A hoserette! Captain, greetings. She's my kind of hoserette, though. Right, Sarah? We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Shh. Malara. Keep your eyes open. Bye. He's not here on the moon. We're just here for fun. Look at me! me. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we got lunar gravity. That's fun. What? What? There's stuff here. That's wonderful. Like, we've really uh, done a number on the moon. Let's go visit something on the moon while we're here. Oh, there's a cave. A moon cave? Okay, let's go here because this looks relatively close and 
I love jumping on the moon. Wow, the moon's awesome. I didn't know there was like fog on the moon. There's like misty moon. Are we trying to terraform it? Where's Earth, by the way? I guess I cannot see it from where I am. Now, ah. all right, all right, all right, Sarah. Let's see here. Now, I really do hope that eventually someone mods in vehicles. The terrain doesn't look like it honestly is like well geared to support vehicles, so I don't know. Maybe a mod would have to like address that or activities. Mission status activities. What does that mean? Activity. Use hand scanner to place an outpost beacon. Speak with Layla. Investigate the brownouts in the well. What? Are these like side quests that I've completely completely just ignored and forgotten about? Aqua water storage. There's water on the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Membrane! Whatever that... What was that? What was that sound? Oh, hi! Is that crashing? Oh, there's like a thing over there. Who could it be? What's this, by the way? Yeah! Oh, I love the gravity. Okay, what was the unknown thing that I saw? Where is that? It's there. Okay, I have to go this way. I'm kind of curious about what's going on over there. Running while encumbered. Don't tell me. Am I encumbered? Of course I'm encumbered. Of course, I'm always freaking encumbered. Sarah, get over here. You have, you have one job, which is to... Yes, you will be happy to help. Your job is to haul all of my stuff. So you can take all that argon com relay. Oh shoot, no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, take all this. Take all this. Take all this. And you can take that. Why do I even have this stuff? Why do I keep just picking up stuff in this game? I just I cannot help myself. Uh yeah, you can have this garbage. Can you hold this for Ooh, look at that. Cigarettes. Can I use them? Uh, pill bottle, relief pills, pill and capsule container, safety coded interior, physician approved, SNC authorized, relief plus. But what relief from what? I don't know. Sarah, you can carry that empty pill bottle that apparently rattles, so maybe there is still something in there. And I probably have a. So what I've also heard is like, give your good weapons to your companions because apparently with, especially with um, what do you call them? Like guns. They have unlimited ammo. If they have one ammo in their in their clip, ooh, I have a shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna be holding on to that. But yeah, apparently, if you get like the ultimate legendary weapons, especially the ones where like ammo is Bye -bye. rare, it's good to give them to your companions because they. That's neat. Uh, they only need um, one bullet in their inventory to be able to uh, shoot their gun, and they never run out of ammo. So, pro tip there is when you get those unique legendaries that are very um, hard to find ammo, let Sarah do the talking. And you'll get maximum bang for your buck. Look at this, we're on the moon. I'm a moon man. And apparently, like, we've caught... Well, well, hold on. Sneaky time. Quick save. Okay, looks like we've got some, uh, some zealots. I don't know what his range of vision is. Just hide, Sarah. We gotta be real sneaky. Oh, look at that! It turned invisible. Sarah, don't just yeah, just hide behind that rock. Don't move. I'm going, I'm going in. Sit. Don't, don't move, Sarah. Don't. Come on, the rock. Come on, the rock. You won't believe this one. Can he see me? He kind of seems like he's on alert. Okay, if I move her... He says, what are you doing here? Leave. Hello. Nobody tells me where I can't go. Okay, okay apparently you have a lot of help. And also I'm... Ah, oh, you can stay for me. Actually, would be very useful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, how do you heal? How do you heal? It's all right. 
No, it's not O. Um, is it Q? Sure, that'll work. Sarah, Sarah, what are you doing? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah! Oh my lord, okay, she's gone rogue. This guy's taking like zero damage. That guy's taking I think we might have bitten off more than we can chew, Sarah. Uh, just keep shooting them! I wish I had grenades. Yeah, well, Sarah, you, yeah, 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 you're not in cover, okay? Hold the breath, hold the breath. More accuracy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Just keep shooting him till he's dead. I think Sarah's down. Let's see. You're gonna go down. Let's defeat me. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Okay, we got one up there. All right. I need. How do I make the heals? Am I out of bed packs? No. Okay, there we go. Oh, now I'm out of bed packs. Wonderful. What does zealot mean? Zealot is like um, a religious. Um, a uh, fanatic or whatever. It's like a zealot would be like, uh, they're like really into something. Like to the point of obsession, right? Sir, get, get, get up. You're a damn joke. Um, excuse me? Were you talking to me? Look at that, there's blood on the moon rocks. I love it. Abandoned cryomat. An anti, oh, I thought that said antidepressant. I thought this guy was like, on anti, anti, he was on like Prozac or something. Come on. Sure, I'll take your guns. Where's that last guy? Does he run inside? Clever. Just get a beat on him. Come on. Oh, I almost had him. Oh, well, okay, okay, all right, okay, Sarah, all right, all right, don't, no need to show off here, okay? Now, what else, what else can we get? Ooh, contraband. But I cannot unlock, because I do not have lock picking. That looks like a painful death. We'll be taking that. So this is interesting. This is, um, another, I guess, like, random facility. So I guess, like, it's really cool because I guess, like, you get through the plot of this game and then you can still really keep, um, going as long as you, as long as, because, you know, there's, like, random stuff. Ooh, okay, useful, useful med packs. Ammo, very nice. We'll be taking that. Equinox is a laser rifle, okay. Ooh, sure. Digipix, those are good. Those are the lockpicks. Okay. And I wonder why the heck uh, I'm always, like, overloaded. It's like a workbench. Uh, okay, so I can create basic manufacturing components used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons. She wouldn't mind getting, um, like, weapon mods, but I guess I kind of have to know what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Okay, so all these little resources that you pick up are, they come into play here. I guess I'll just make one of these, just to see what it's like. Good thing you had the Ooh, schematics. You gain experience for crafting. That's that's excellent. Okay, now I got one of those thingies. Hey Sarah, how's your pockets doing? Cause I might have some more junk for you to carry, madame. Ballistic weapons do permanently five percent more critical damage. Okay, this is where. Again, it's a Bethesda game. You gotta look for those little notebooks. Navigator spacesuit. Uh, it looks very heavy. Sarah. We still need to find any sign. Bring is, me anything useful. Uh, well, useful in the sense that I don't want to carry it. Okay, no, I, we'll keep that. You can have all of this stuff. And what other weapons did I pick up? Because these things are usually heavy. So I've got an Equinox. So that would actually be better than the current gun. So let's try that. Um, and maybe, oh, you can have, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, you can have. Ooh, that looks like a like a like a 1950s Tommy gun style shotgun, like or 1930s or 40s or whatever. That looks cool. But this one I think is better and also looks cool. It looks like a shotgun pistol. Okay, you can have this shotgun. I will try the other shotgun. Thank you kindly. Until later. Uh, what do 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 do? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be trying this. So, what does this say? Why is there a little exclamation mark on it? Do I have ammo for it? Is that what it's saying? Maybe you don't have ammo? No, I have ammo. Ho 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 yeah! Our yeah, spatula's gonna do some damage. Okay. So I guess nowhere to go but down. Drop a little save there. I remember the last facility turned out to be kind of wild. Interesting! Mr. Freeze's underground base. I love that there are just these little procedural missions. Like, I really... This would be something that I think would be relatively easy to bring to Elite. Just add, like, a settlement type that has random characteristics. Generates an interior. Like, how cool would that be? Like, why isn't that an Odyssey? It's been two years. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Can I go through the vents? Come on. I want to pull it... I want to do a Die Hard. Let me go in the... Sarah, go in the vents. Open the vents. Sarah. Oh, you're useless. Ooh, foam cup. Hey, Sarah. I got a new hat for you. Shh, 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 stay still. Just stay very still. Don't move. Oh, you ruined it. You ruined it. Okay, can I go in this vent? Oh my god, I can go in the vents. Oh, we're doing a die hard. Wait, I think I actually have to go in the vents. Hold on, I need that med kit. Anchored immobilizers. Whoa, hi. Uranium. And money. So this is what I love also about um, Bethesda games. It's just like that behind. the little stories, right? Like, I guess were these guys, I guess this guy was like trapped in a collapse. Like, cause obviously this, is that a collapse or is this like ice? I don't know, but he got stuck there. And his buddy was like, I'll stay with you and keep you company until the rescue comes. But he had a chunk of uranium on him, so he probably died of radiation. Because he's like a doctor. And that's a scientist. Well, I guess they're both doctors. What is What happened to this moon base? I wonder if there's like... Wait, wait. Give, give here a granite to infinite nades? Wait, what? Okay, we're doing a diehard. Oh, we got zealots. Oh, they saw me! Okay, okay. This has not been a... Very stealthy guy hurt. Okay. Sarah, we're gonna have to shoot them. Ooh, okay. I need to use one of those health picks now. Okay, Sarah, I have a plan. Keep them occupied over there. I guess it gets you through these things. That's my plan! Set myself on fire and shoot everybody. Oops. What have I done? Okay, if I can just reload, thank you, and... Okay, alright, sir, I get it. You're badass. You don't need to go around just making me look bad. Oh, there's also Zealot orders I can read. Okay, that plan actually worked, and I'm, I'm very happy. And also, why is my health... Hi. What did I do? How did I accomplish that? Rely on each other. Hold on. We're not out of the woods yet. I hear one of the zealots. What kind of machinery is this? Sarah, do you know what this is? Sarah! Sarah, come here. Look at this. Sarah! Look at this. What the hell? <laughs> Are you the flash? Medic uniform. I wonder if I could disguise myself as a medic. Okay, I brought it up before, but Shannon doesn't seem to grasp the situation. If we don't do something about the system connectors for the cryogenic projects, there and there is even a minor failure, we could have a facility-wide issues. I know you understand this problem, but now I want to remind you that the exterior environmental changes are potentially exacerbating the situation. 
We can't control those factors. Please talk to Shannon. As much as I enjoy working with you, I don't want to be trapped in this ice tomb forever. Interesting. So yeah, there is kind of like a backstory for this. So I guess like this is a cryogenic facility and some astute engineer was warning them like, hey, if we don't get these, these cryo problems fixed, we're going to be kind of like, we're kind of like screwed. Oh, grenade. Oh yeah. Oh, so they get infinite grenades. That's interesting. Um, oh, I got a scavenging badge. Oh wait, so I get skill points, right? Oh, wonderful. Okay, what should I do? Like, do I... I want manipulation because I want to be just a... A weirdo. What's all this? Oh. I could, like, tell aliens what to do. Uh, and then this is, like, being a better captain. And instigation sounds really fun. But maybe, like, something... Like, stealth might be kind of good. Carrying capacity is also very attractive. Just because this game sucks. Or, I could level up my deception. But that's, like, basically, like, for space piracy. I could also level up my ability to make gourmet dishes. Or my persuasion. 30% chance of success. Rank 4 is looks really nice. Like a 50-50. Increased. So whatever your base is. I kind of feel like persuasion... Ooh, theft. I kind of feel like persuasion is my... my, my uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Rank 2. Complete the previous rank to unlock this challenge. Oh, right. So you can't level these things up until you actually do them. Which I actually think is, that's kind of cool. Uh, pistol certification. So I'm not actually good with shotguns. So should I... I guess that just increases their damage output. It's not like a required thing. What about science? <coughs> Increase grab, jumper. Ooh, that would be good for getting around. But it's kind of more of a late, later game thing. Get more common and uncommon energy. I don't really want more inventory um med packs trauma packs okay so better med packs um resources to research that's probably good to get early but yeah adds an optional zoom to the hand scanner and scan distance is increased by 20 meters that seems very s small but also interesting planetary habitation oh so that's like building on whatever worlds you want i'm not really I don't really feel like I'm going to get super into the base building in this game. I mean, we'll see. I'll try it out eventually, but... This is, like, tech. Okay, what else in tech is good? Uh, missile... So, hmm. Ship targeting. Security. Oh, this could be good. You can attempt to hack advanced locks. And then ballistic weapons. That's on the ships, but I don't really care. So some of this is like ships, but some of this is like lock picking. I think... What's this? Oh, when you don't have a companion. Bribery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can force a target NPC at your level to stop fighting for a while. I think I feel like, honestly, I just want the increase in my carrying capacity. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that because it's going to make... Okay, and then to level this up, I have to basically pack my shit full to 75% and then just run. Okay. That seems like an easy one that can naturally level up in the background. Okay, let's save. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think carrying capacity in this game is kind of annoying. Really annoying. Not... Like, like, even compared to other games. Like, I get, you have to have some mechanic in there. Okay, I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking around. I'm gonna die hard here. Oh. Maybe not with a shotgun from this distance. Let's just take whatever's in this room. Did you pick? Sealant. What's that like quest mark over there? Sure. I feel
feel like I should take like 4.3 mass. But hold on, what's my carrying capacity now? 150. Yeah, no, no, no. We're 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 just not gonna loot crap. Um, reload. Thank you. Hi. Oh, oh, he's trying to stab me. He's trying to stab. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Sarah, do something. Sarah, Sarah, get away from me. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. See, Sarah's wonderful. She does everything I, I need her to do. Okay, so maybe we could try the Equinox. Do we have ammo for this? Oh, we have much more ammo for this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I like the look of this weapon. We need a med pack. Well, I suppose they're not sure. going to need it anymore. Oh yeah, those zealot orders. Hold on, I gotta listen to those. Let's uh, find out why they're here. What are they doing on the moon? Be in her notes, right? Brothers and sisters, now is the time. We must spread the word of the great oh, serpent across wait, wait, wait. the settled system. We like the great serpent. The unbelievers refuse to listen, then they will be purged. Uh oh. We must go to their places, where they are, where they were, where they will be. We must pave the galaxy with scales, um, and all who stand before us will fall. Listen, I'm I'm part of the whole snake cult too. I love the snake god, it's really fun and stuff, cool and scaly. I'm not that much into the purge thing. Like, I wouldn't say I'm like a Zila, you know? I'm more like a, a dabble. I dabble in the snake god stuff. It's fun. Brothers but like, and sisters, okay. now is uh, the time. And then there's Brothers number two. And sisters, oh. We are the children of the great serpent, spreading his divine word. Forget any home you once knew. For we are now wanderers of the cosmos. We have outgrown the home world. Like Earth? Outgrown the I think Earth is kind of uninhabitable. Of I wouldn't say we'd outgrown that it. have kept our people weak. No more. Okay. Our support now comes only from each other. Our supplies come from wherever we can find them. Our stuff comes from Spread whatever. The <laughs> what does that mean? Numerous settlements <coughs> installations. Many blah, 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 blah. Let's take all of the things and make the snake thing everywhere. Or whatever. I don't, I don't subscribe to your zealotry, sir. So go forth and take whatever you need. Take whatever you need. I am down with that. Oh, hi. Or the dead. Uh-oh. Okay. Probably need... Old star yards oh. and... Bye oh. for now. Sh t -t 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 I wasn't meaning to talk to you, Sarah. I was meaning... I pressed the wrong button. Oh! Oh! Oopsie daisies. Okay, sit back. There we go. Now we're feeling better. I assume we have to go through here. I don't know if these are randomly designed. Like this seems very well um, orchestrated. This this base, like everything is very much. Make it 48 inches. Conserve word would love would leave eight by eight shelf space on top. I thought this was like science, but it looks like they're doing like uh, room planning. Like where should we where should we put the TV? The sword of Damocles. Cool. Uh, what is on the computer? Not sure how I feel about these um, computer designs compared to like Fallout. It's kind of neat, but it's like for the future. Like you think we'd really go back to like AOL 1990s internet, which is what this all kind of feels like. And it's like if they like just like with Fallout. And Fallout is kind of like 50s style um, or whatever. Like like if they had been like, okay, we're gonna make Starfield like what if the 90s just never ended or came back or whatever i could get that but it's like i don't know the computer's even consistent 
Shannon, this is important. The issue with the cryoconnectors for the lab and the ambient environmental fluctuation we talked about. It's more serious than I originally thought. We'll need to think, we'll need to halt the current experiments. Pause the whole program, update the labs. We're in danger here, including you. Please do the right thing, have someone look after it. Uh, my team has completed implementation of Sheshet encryption. Our project data going forward will be encrypted automatically as it is uploaded onto the local servers. Look, I'm not doing that accent no more. I'm sorry if I offended you. It's a playthrough, or, or it isn't. What? What's not, what's a playthrough? Um, but with this, uh, I agree the value of this data can't be overstated. Every episode, the leak vectors through scientist staff. During our efforts, we found multiple cases of indiscretion among the staff that post security indiscretion. So. Is it just like people being chatter chatterballs? So it looks like, yeah, the scientists working here knew the problem was there, and out of greed or negligence, they just kind of didn't fix it. And look what happened. It became an ice castle. Okay. Careful, Sarah. Heard a door. Was that you? Ooh. Okay, stop taking everything that's not nailed down, Spatula. Sorry for the inconvenience. We are currently out of ice! Okay. Love that. The irony. I love it. Okay, let me take a screenshot of it. This is this is amazing. This is my favorite. That is amazing. Like, that is just like a little touch that a level designer did that, like, I don't know, that makes me very happy. That's a nice touch. Nice little pun there. Okay, we can't go that way yet. I guess we'll have to go around. Door number one or door number two? I guess this one's closer. Oh, Sarah, don't walk in front of me like that. Oh, hi. You can't shoot me behind this chair. Oh, ow, okay. It's really smart. Oh god, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. I have no bed pits. Sarah, help me! Okay. We are, I guess, alive. Oh, more shotgun shells, that's always good. The blood, I can hear it, like, the, my blood is pulsing. Lamp planter, oh. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. How do I heal? Oh, I guess you have food and stuff too, right? Uh, oh, I have, oh, I have so much food. Okay. Um, oh, right, and I forgot you can get um, injuries and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna eat this sandwich. And yeah, we're gonna have some rhubarb juice. We'll eat all of the sandwiches. Uh, a stick of butter, delicious. And of course, bacon. And, an, and we'll wash it down with some nice cheese flavored crackers. Let's see, what does that do for us? You you I think we gained like three health. Why am I still hurt? Okay, I guess we need to eat a lot more sandwiches. Uh, meal pack ramen. Ramen's delicious. Uh, eggs, yeah, and chicken. And we'll drink some milk and oat clusters. Am I gonna die from like overeating? Is my character gonna get lethargic? Why is my health not going up? Or is it just like going up so slowly? This could be a problem. I need to like find more medkits. Research lab, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm in combat. Maybe that's why my health wasn't going up. Things. Okay, I'm no longer in combat. I think. Hold on. Let's look at the music. I wish there was like an indicator showing that like you are in com com combat. Like when you're uh, stealthing in uh, Fallout, it'll show like um, if you're hidden or whatever. Uh, some granola, I guess. Pears are good for your health. Peaches. Okay, my health is going up. I think it's just really, like how many hit, where do you see how many hit points you actually have? 
to pick a new skills or no, I guess not. Like where do I see my like hit points? I guess I don't. Uh okay. We'll just eat more of the things. Uh some pies, some cheesesteaks, some chocolate labs. Uh I guess waters get oh, actions use negative twenty oh two. Oh, like that's like positive for me. Uh, white wine, hello. Uh, oh wait, hold on, I shouldn't be drinking beer. Oranges, peaches, plums. Uh, some non bread. Why? Why do I have this stuff on me? Chocolate, gummy bears. I've just eaten like uh, everything in my inventory. I'm probably like some negative modifier for being bloated. What up, Valor? How do you say 07 in Space Fallout? I don't know, I think you just still say 07 because. The way I see it is this is an elite commander doing a historic simulation of what happened in the 2290s. We're still in the Elite Dangerous universe, it's just a different different time. Okay, we got a zealot coming up the stairs. Let's advance a little bit. And hold. Actually this is it's never gonna get better than now. Oh god, I have no cover. He doesn't even know what hit him. Sarah! Sarah! Sarah god damn it, Sarah! Alright, alright, we're going in, we're going in. Show no mercy. I wish you could do it like a finish. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Did he explode? I really wish you could do like a finisher move when they're in that like death roll. You could just like stomp them or something. I think I, I just uh, think of like the Doom game or whatever, where you can do like the chainsaw finishers. That would be fun. Ooh, some antibiotics for your health. Sarah, you keep an eye out. Oh, ooh, sweet, sweet, precious med packs. All right, I'm just gonna need one right off the bat. Which, man, I'm running low on the health. I am concerned for my health. So, hold on, there was something still up there, right? Yeah, I swear there's a little room off to the side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just relax, let your oxygen come back to your body. Running one. Am I encumbered? Oh, for crying out loud. Hold on. So. Yeah, probably too many. So, suppressed males. I've got like three maelstroms. I can probably just get rid of one. Uh, this one is the heaviest. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that one. Uh, and then let's see here. Modified Equinox. Damage three. But it's fully automatic. So basically, do you like ammo? No? Okay, then that'll destroy all your ammo. And I'm still encumbered. Hey, buddy. Sarah, where you, where you at, girl? I got a little present for you. We still need to find any glad yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know what we need to find. We need to find more stuff for you to carry. Oh, what's this? Okay, don't need that. Sarah Morgan can't carry anymore. Oh no. What have I done? Maybe See, yeah, I, I am gonna say my biggest qualm with this game is the inventory system. Just how often you have to go into it how much freaking um, like stuff there is. I guess like, okay, I don't need two eons. Does more damage the less armor one has versus whatever, so get rid of that. I'm gonna keep my shotgun. I'm gonna keep my suppressed gun, even though it's probably never gonna use it, but uh, O2 boosted refined ground crew pack. So that seems to be actually like better in absolutely every way. So we're gonna switch to that, and then, it doesn't look as cool, but whatever, we can drop that. Oh, apparently we, auto medic deep seeker. So negative 15 inc incoming ballistic damage, um, and auto medic, automatically uses a health pack when hit and health is below 25% once every 60 seconds. That's pretty good, but I do like my sneaky suit. You blend in with the environment when sneaking and not moving. That's very cool. Though this one has significantly better stats. 
like significant. I think I'm gonna go with that. And then this one, even wow, even even better stats. Some less there. It's also more heavy. <sighs> and that reduces energy damage. And right now, like the baddies are like energy damage. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Whatever. I'm not getting rid of my my sneaky suit because that's very cool. And throwables. Okay, so I should give one of these to what's your face? What's your face? Come here. Old Star Yard. You better have enough room. Choice. Yeah, yeah. You better have enough room for a grenade. There we go. Okay. And you also better be Talk careful about how you use that, by the way. I, don't make me regret giving you that, okay? Um, yeah. Just, if you could just get out of the way, please. Okay. So we've dumped some gear. What's this? Nothing important. This is a... Ooh, unlockable door. Right. So this mini game, I am... Um, Kind of like, uh, yeah, maybe. Shirt, sure, let's uh, let's give it a try. Oh, I think we actually. Just, oh wait, hold on. This reminds me very uh, undo. This reminds me very much of um. The, the, but like in Elite Dangerous before they uh, changed the genetic sampling or whatever. Like there's uh, those little mini games. This is okay. Okay, so we need to find two that are next to each other. Okay, that's a match made in heaven. And therefore, like it's okay. I kind of, okay. Where's this leading? Hello? We're going up instead of down, which is interesting. Is this maybe like an exit? Oh, oh. Oh, a key. 345 credits have been sent home to your parents. God damn it, mom and dad. Yeah, that's the part of the perk, is your parents are still alive, but you will randomly send them money. Send money home, like a good son. Don't think we've been down there yet. Gotta watch out for these. I love it, I'm like an, a xenomorph just running around the vents. Oh wait, I think we were in this room. Kind of recognize it. Yeah, we were definitely in this room. <laughs> so now we're kind of in the vents above. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, don't fall down the crack. This is neat. I think there's something over the other. Yeah. in there. Okay, it's just like you can't shoot me. Yet. Oh no, they can sh they can very much shoot me. So that means I should be able to shoot them, right? Oh yes, okay. This is probably not the best use of ammo. Well, what's its grenades? G? I have the high ground, Anakin. Uh, Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh no. I died. Oh god, how long has it been? How long has it been since I quick saved? I started learning my lesson when I was playing Baldur's Gate 2, where I was just like, oh my lord, um, oh, we're back here. Ew, that was quite a bit. Okay, well, what's. Oh, so we have to go get the key to come back here. Okay, now it makes sense. All right, we can just... Okay, okay. Well, we know what we're doing now, so... Oh, no. You know what we have to do again? All that inventory management. 
wonder balls. Okay, we can get rid of this, get rid of this. I guess I'm not really gonna go around axing people. I mean, I like to do, I like that. Uh, this we don't need. We don't need, uh, we do want to take that one and then drop these two. Uh, we do want to go there and drop that guy. And then what else do we do? Oh, I don't have anything equipped. Okay, so that's probably why I wasn't throwing a grenade. And that's right, we want to give a grenade to Sarah as well, because that would have been undone. We still need to find any Thank sign you for the of Vanguard. Let's see what you've got. Shh, 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 shh. Just be quiet and take this. Okay, leave me with only one grenade, but that's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. What do you mean goodbye? What do you mean goodbye? Okay, save. There we go. Oh, we did did. Um. Yeah, I don't know how I am. I don't know how in love with these puzzles I am. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, probably not that one. But this one, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I guess you get better at them as you go. Recognize the patterns. Da da. Et voila. And quick save, so we don't ever have to do that again. Oh, that's right, I don't have the stealth suit anymore. My sneaking is probably not too great. Okay. So there's the key. There's nothing really down there. What I think I want to do this time is try something else. Because I have these lovely grenades. So hopefully what we can do is like sneak past these guys without them seeing. You saw nothing, you saw nothing. Okay, apparently they saw something. And voila! Oh no! Oops. Yeah, okay, okay, that was a bad plan. <laughs> Drop a grenade, jump down, onto a grenade, blow self up. Profit? Okay. We're gonna have to try this a different way. Okay, so up the stairs, take the key. I mean, I could just go into the key, but I feel like it's gotta be something to this. I can see what, oh wait, hold on. I've definitely been in that room. If there's junk on the floor, it's probably me. So we're heading towards the cryovats. What was that? It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Okay, we are gonna try the grenade again, but this time not. Sarah. That's right, Sarah. You take you take a on, you take a on, Sarah, you go girl. Wait, wait, wait. Why do I see a grenade thing on my street? Sarah! I knew it would... Okay. If you could just lay down some cover fire. These are tough. Tough boys. Tough boys. Tough boys. Okay. Oh, she's just like throwing grenade after grenade. Okay, Sarah, I... Wow! 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 Oh my god! How? Why? <laughs> I just got blown. To the next century, wow. Okay. I do, I, I, I love Bethesda physics. All right, we'll try that again. These are two really tough boys. I don't know, what kind of armor they have. I want to take a look at their gear once they're, uh... no, no, no. Okay. All right, screw stealth. What, that time they didn't notice me? Down. Sarah, grenade. Or, or just go in there. I don't. 
Well, if you're gonna do that, just give me a shot for crying out loud. I will just take the body while you two uh, do it. Lovely. Hold on. Wait a minute. I have shotgun shells again. This is the perfect time. How do I also... Um, okay, so I could favorite this. There. Okay. And my shotgun over here. And then I guess, like, melee weapons on the top. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good plan. And then I go... This way, and go, hi! Anti-personal refined solstice. Okay, they apparently did a really nice... This was like a boss level person, I guess. Like a mini boss. Uh, what exactly was that? Anti-personnel refined solstice. Oh, it's a rare laser pistol. 10% damage uh, amongst humans. That's very Bethesda. Okay, I like this little gun. Sarah, calm down. Uh, now I do need health. Do I just like eat the rest of my food? I suppose that's all I can do at this point. I'm out of um, health packs. Uh, yeah, we'll have all these coffees. Uh, some lovely toast. Oh damn, I ate the butter earlier. I'll just eat some meat. Restores 20 health. Oh. Yeah, we'll be having some of that. Tastiness. Okay, that gives us back to halfway. Oh yeah, quick save. Industrial workbench. Is that different from the... You can't use this while in combat. Okay, so apparently... Apparently... Somebody... See. Now that kind of looks like a breakable wall. And so it is. I guess we'll just crunch. <laughs> we can just like, oh, where'd it go? That's it's like everything is so immersive and then like the rock just fades out of existence. Again, we don't need to do stuff. We're already, we're already with a heavy load. Okay, so we can go up here. And obviously we've been here before. Oh, so, okay, so. Going up there was just a way to um, get the key and then like skirt those two people. This probably leads. So what we probably want to do is go back to that room where that, that required a key. Save here because I'm concerned. Like I have no health. I guess I got the elevator shaft. I really need to find health packs. Hello. He didn't stand a chance. Where is? Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Alright, thank you, sir. Oh, he was an axe man. Creature jam. Okay, where is the baddies? Sarah, can you, can you lure them over here? Oh, shit. Up high! Oh, I like this gun! Ooh, I like this gun a lot. You will fall. I I did fall, and I'm okay for now. Where you at? Let's get up there. Oh, I like this gun. Okay, this gun is nice. This gun is very nice. This is a cool little ice chamber kind of feel. Like like it feels very claustrophobic. I don't know where. Anything could be like it's like I eat. There's a lot of crevices and I can't see behind this wall. I really have to say, like I think one thing that Starfield nailed pretty well is just like the level design. 
Like, I don't know how much, uh, like, procedural generation they use, but it doesn't feel like it. Like, they feel very well crafted, everything's kind of interesting. This whole area is filled with explosives, do not linger. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, watching some of these NPCs just go on little tangents. So tempting. So, Sarah, can you be careful? <laughs> She's just like kicking around, kicking around those high explosive canisters. I really need to buy health packs in the number one rule to survival in this game. Where do you buy health packs? I guess from docs, right? Doctors. <clears throat> yeah, I need to make a note of that next time I am in a pit stop. What this? What was that? I saw something. Is this like a jumping puzzle? I guess, do, do I go down? Yeah, I, I guess one criticism is like, yeah, the, the level here is so random and I kind of don't have any clue what, like what's the end game of this? Interesting, okay. Uh, what is the end game of this facility? Like what is the, what is the purpose of me being here? What am I trying to find? Like. Okay, we have a cuttable wall there. Okay, so apparently there's room on that side. I'm willing to bet there's something interesting in there, so maybe... Yeah, what I really should do is put my cutter... I guess up here. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. Bye-bye, wall. Oh, I just love that little thud. Did I put this thing? No, I didn't put this on a binding. Okay, we'll put pistols in the bottom. And then I go... I'm still getting kind of used to the controls. Um, again, I've been playing like a lot of Baldur's Gate. And then coming back to Starfield, and it's like, oh, right, right, right. The controls are very different. It's like a pin. I mean, it's kind of interesting, because, like, the fact that I don't know, like, there's no, like, clear path, and there's all these different weaving, um, areas, like, it makes it more, like, I do feel more lost in the, that sense of, like, exploration that comes with, like, when you're lost. This has got to be a jump puzzle. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Going up. Should, I guess this is. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! You have a death wish or something. This is why I love you, Sarah, because of your stupid glib remarks. I don't have a death wish, but I did lose a significant chunk of my health. Hold on, what other snacks can I eat? A baguette? Uh, bourbon, hello, don't mind if I do. Creature jam. Yeah. Water, uh, let's see. Oh, heal gel. That makes a lot, oh no, I'd probably want to save those for if I get burns or frostbite. Heart, plus. Uh, that's more like a booster. Ship parts, I can eat that? Oh no, they, they were for ship parts, okay. There we go, maybe some, maybe another battle meal. Those seem like good items, actually. I probably shouldn't waste them, but. And now I could be a little bit sauced. Perfect time is to just drink a bottle of vodka and then climb pipes. Like any good space commander should. Okay. Go up here, go up here. Oh! Not again! Not again! Oh, for crying out loud. Sarah, I don't want to peep out of you. Uh, you're not really climbing either. So, you know, don't criticize, don't judge others unless. Oh! Am I gonna die trying to climb? <laughs> and like, what even is this for? Is this even where I'm supposed to go? Okay, you know what? I, I, I don't like your jumping puzzle. Oh, but it feels so, like, obviously the way we should go, but... Just use the F button, there's your cutter. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, thank you for that loot. That's great. Okay. I'm just gonna try and see what's over here. Because there was another another way. Leading to another. Man, all the vents in this place, like there's Oh hi! I I I I I I I I Explosive! Get down! Well done! Alright, Sarah, was that grenade really necessary? Okay, we're just barely hanging on. Titanium rescue axe, okay. Spaghetti carbon! Old star yards get, uh, time to that, go. Sarah, I'm trying to eat the spaghetti. Spaghetti carbonara. Hello. Oh, I only have 16 shots left on my gun. Sarah, you know We still need to find any you climb better if you holster your weapon. Moara. Keep your eyes open. Good point there, Valor. I'll only carry. Um, do you have aid? Or no, I'm not giving you aid. I want to know what have you have. For me? Do you have any aid? No, you, no, you don't. And you're not really okay. Able to take more gear. Uh, wow. Okay, this is getting. Oh wait, heal paste. No wait, that's for burns. Zipper bandages, damage resistance. I guess sparkling water and spa oh wow, spaghetti carbonara is very very healthy. Let's see, what does that do for me? Oh boy, I'm still in the red. Okay, we're just gonna. Ooh, ooh hello, hello, pretties. And actually, I should be using mines more. Like, just drop a mine, run away, let them chase. Okay, we need to be extremely careful. We're low on ammo, low on health, possibly low on sanity. And I'm sure this place is not fully tapped. Again, this is just a, I, I, like, what did I say at the beginning of the screen? We're gonna continue the plot today. And here we are at some random ass base in the middle of the moon. Getting our our butts kicked. This kind of looks. Maybe there's some medical gear. Well take what we can. Yeah, we're that's why we're here. We're taking stuff. That's what we do. Oh, med pack, med pack. Okay. We're just gonna barely get through this by the skin of our teeth. Uh, I should also make med packs a favorite, right? You would think. Uh, da, 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 mid pack, hello. Alright, so put that baby. Get there. Now, I'm not gonna use it yet, because maybe I'll find another delicious spaghetti carbonara. Maybe some fettuccine alfredo. Maybe we'll find some really delicious avocado toast that will heal us for like. Oh, look at that. Can I pull. Can I make the salsa cards fall? What's Malie? What is Malie? Oh, it's V. Yeah, that's right. That's what I think of your card. Ooh, sushi rolls. See, look at that. Five health right there. Uh, do, do, do. uh Tetra Brew to go cup. Uh, milk is healthy. I got milk. It's like it's it's like only in a Bethesda game is it is it's like you're just walking around picking up food that's like decades old and just eating it to your face to restore your health. It's it's just such a weird thing. I'm just like, can you imagine? It's just like someone comes over to your health or your house and they're just like, oh, I'm not feeling well, and then they just look behind the couch, find an old bag of chips, eat it, and go, ah, that's better. So much better. Okay, so I guess that's this little area. We did find a health pack, so that is awesome. That's locked. Oh, that probably just went in there. Okay, now Batty's here. Can we find more random food lying out? Soap dispenser, okay, don't eat the soap. I know it makes your hands clean, but it does not, it does not work the same way on the inside of you. Oh, what's this? Hello. Got a safe here. Uh, sure. Maybe this one. Maybe 
different configuration. Aha! I'm a genius. Yeah, I guess these puzzles do get easier and easier as you start to do them. Oh, hello. Okay, I'll take some money. Get the experience for cracking that safe. And then quick save so we never have to do it again. Dark Lager. Mm. Is that an IPA? Ow, oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize those doors opened towards me. Alright, Sarah, let's be a little sneaky. Don't want to get in any trouble here. Or if we do find trouble, we want to have a good advance warning of it. Oh, I think this leads back to the big ice cave room we were in. Or is this a different one? I can't really tell. Like, ultimately, I'm... Oh, hold on. That looks like a thing. Anti-ballistic ground crew. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so this is probably why we came here. This is probably, like, your... Your end-level loot. Because, damn, that had a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, maybe that's kind of the... Oh, I do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Keep giving me those grenades. Ah! Oh, my God! What the hell is that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run away. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's fucking Robocop. It's the N900 or whatever. Sarah, make the bad robot go away. Did it follow us? Can we sneak? Can we sneak? Oh, my Lord. That actually scared the crap out of me. Quick save. Maybe we can just sneak around it. We don't have to engage with the giant scary robot. We need to get up there. Can you see me? What if I hold my weapon? Sarah, what are you doing? Sarah! Sarah! Oh, for crying out loud, Sarah! Okay, fine, we're engaging with the stupid robot, but for this, hold on. We should use a different weapon. Sarah! This, this is a bad idea! Oh, okay, apparently it wasn't that scary. Okay, well, I didn't know it was gonna be, like, easy. Hey, look, my health went up. Oh, probably my med suit just used my med pack, didn't it? Yup! I mean, probably not a Set aside bad thing. Useful and just leave the rest. Probably a good idea. Okay, so we killed the big scary robot. That was scary though. It reminded me of those like Boston Dynamics, those little like robot dogs. I don't know if you saw watch the show Black Mirror. There was that one episode with those robot dogs. And then and then you like see them in real life and you're like, hmm, this is a little too close. Damn you, Black Mirror, for always making me afraid of technology. Okay, so this is an exit. But we got that key. Uh, well, I guess maybe, maybe we can exit and then come back in. Because I feel like it was a lot closer to the beginning. Or is it important? I mean, I feel like we got the end loot. I feel like we got a good loot there. Extreme solar radiation. Oh, what now? Oh, hi. We got a lot of money from that, actually. That's really good. We can go buy a lot of health packs. Okay, cool, cool. So I guess that was just a random dungeon, but really cool. The fact that the- Whoa, 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 toxic gas. Oh, hi. Called for backup. They didn't tell backup who was coming, though. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go back in there. I don't care. Whatever. Back to the ship. The moon was fun, but let's let's advance this plot. Though, really, I do love the fact that we just landed on the moon and just did a random random base. That's cool. I guess we're going to dock with some space station, so hopefully our, our priority number one is going to be to buy med packs because I'm very low on health 
I'm running out of spaghetti carbonara. There's nothing I can really stuff my face with right now. Oh yeah, I should be sprinting right now just to get my uh, bonus. Do -do 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 -do. Look at me leveling up my agility. Just running a zigzag pattern because it takes longer to get there. Because again, at some point or another, I'm going to unload my inventory and I won't make progress. You have to be 75% full. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, oxygen running low. We're about halfway there. Okay, let's just let that oxygen come back. What do you think, Sarah? How's this adventure going? Old star yards and other. And it's fine. Let's ask you a personal question. Do you have any religious beliefs, Sarah? Do you believe... Are you... Are you... Uh, aligned with my worship of the, the giant uh, space snack? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, in the star field. seeing all oh, those I magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Have you heard the good word of the snake? So long. Of the, the space snake? The python? The best ship in Elite Vingus in the future? I do just love that there's like random stuff like an oh, oh wait did I press F or G oh no what have I done okay okay I didn't blow up my ship good I do just love that um, you can land anywhere on a planet and there's gonna be some random stuff that's cool I'm really digging this I am really digging this all right on with the plot let's get this dog and pony show rolling what up Vasco it's been a while since we chatted. Conversational pro. And I got nothing new to talk to you about. That's fine. Well, I guess it's, it's what's weird to me is like you can like fast travel from everywhere. Like I I don't have to go to my ship. I can just do it from the map. But I kind of still like the immersion of just like going to the ship. Oh yeah, we blasting off to. I guess we just take off then. Oop. It's weird that you, you go out of menus, out of menus, out of menus, and then accidentally into your inventory because it's all the same. But... I love that the starter ship does look like Serenity or Firefly or whatever. It's a neat, it's a neat looking ship. I'm more inclined to actually get into the shipbuilding um, aspect of this game versus like the base building, I think. Alright, so we gotta go over here. Hopefully, no one's like, get out of your ship and let's have a space combat because I ain't got no health. Do I get to dock with this thing? Let's boost. Permission to dock. Okay, okay, actually, let's, let's just slow down. Definitely prefer the dangerous flight model by a lot. By a heck of a lot. Okay, uh, let's reduce speed. What do we do? Can we hail them? Oh, we can hail. Hail! Hello! Hello! Hello? Oh, that's never a good sign. Alright, well, let's dock it up. I wish you had to perform your own docking. Like, if you had to align the camera or something like that, that would be a neat little mini game. Again, I did, this game is moddable, so I'm fully expecting that some cool mods will uh, come up. Okay, find any clues about Marar. Wait, clues. Is this an abandoned space station? Did we just get ourselves roped into yet another... Uh... Oh, hi. I keep forgetting about you. Yeah, what, what do you do when I'm gone? Do you just chill in the spaceship? All right, Sarah, get your butt up. It's time to go. Oh, wait. Yeah, we have to go up this time. I, do, I love that differentiator where, like, you dock with... Oh. 
Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Yes, very pleasant. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. See, okay. Sarah gets it. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers oh, were scavenging no. around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone Good who gets day, in Captain. their way. Vasco, you want to come? They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me the good news, right? Maybe there's like med packs. Maybe the good news is that there's going to be six med packs. Ooh, I'll take that baseball cap. Uh, we got notebooks, scissors. We need some scissors. I feel like one of these has got to have like a book or something. Eggman desk assistant. I like the lighting, the ambiance here. Desktop organizer, ramen. Ramen is very health restorative. Oh, hi. Uh, he had some beer on him. Nice septum piercing, dude. Uh, do, 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 do. Reminder, infinity. Um, okay. It's gonna be one of those, those abandoned uh, scary space stations. They were, they all went insane and ate each other. And they had perfectly good ramen. I think it's time for the dark logger. Uh, I guess that's just damage resistance, not really. I kind of don't have anything for healing. I'm kind of worried. Especially if this is like going to be a big combat thing. All right. Not seeing any trouble so far. Well, I mean, other than the endless piles of corpses. But maybe, maybe whoever killed them moved on to bigger, brighter, better things. We will not run into any trouble. Just a bunch of corpses. That'll be it. Hmm. This is a very explosive area. What's that? A mount! Neat. Why do I have a feeling I don't... I get the feeling that I'm not going to like what's behind that door. At some point or another. Ooh, I'm cards. sure they had something we can use. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're going to be... Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to be clever. If we do encounter people, we're going to use our minds. Not in our mind as uh, the, the mind of a, of a space super genius. Let's see here. Solomon's Resolve. I haven't tried that beer yet. Do you hear that? Oh shit, what's going on over there? Ecliptic? Okay. Uh, some people are having a little space combat over there. Well, I am going to be taking everything that I can from the kitchen to make myself feel good. Orange. I don't know who's fighting who, but you know what? We'll let them do their thing, and then whoever wins, we can uh, murder them. Ooh, we're getting like the Starfield theme. Ooh, Canuck Shepherds by. Lovely. Single malt whiskey. Macchiato. This is just you screaming and firing in the background. I bet it better not be aliens. So I remember that one time I was on that planet and there was that giant freaking um, spider creature or whatever. I did not want to run into another one of those. It felt very Starship Troopers. Okay, so I've not done the dishes. Raisin Bran. Oh hell yeah. Toast. Toast. 
pot. Anything in the pot? No. Ooh, we are getting some very, very, very nice seaweed snacks. Uh, hello. Alien sandwiches! Cereal? There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Shh, 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 Sarah, this is important. Today we feast. Bitten sandwich? Apple chunks? That is just a flat cup. Alright, Sarah, watch this. I've been eating all day, but there's still room for more. Uh, beef chunks? Chunks of apples? Oh, we're definitely having that shepherd pie. Mmm. Boom pop orange. Uh, we will follow that up with uh, wash it down with a nice cold glass of milk, followed by an orange, a peach, and some raisin bran. Two bowls, of course. And single malt whiskey in a sippy, a sippy, a sippy pack. Uh, no, I think we'll go with the seaweed. We're going to be healthy there. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. A healthy man. Oh, whoa, whoa. What happened? Oh, shit. There was someone in here. Uh, Lot more. A med pack! Ooh, 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 ooh. More food! My hunger never ends. Okay, we got onions. Oh, we got cheese, we got cheese. Sarah, quickly raid this pantry. Okay, we got a a tomato, we got bread. Sarah, anything that you can find that I can munch on? Oh, damn. Oh, I get that's interesting. So I guess that guy took the med pack from here. Uh, I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. All right, time to die and more. <laughs> this is the this is a freaking uh, spatula ASMR uh, start start space field playthrough. We're just eating cheese, drinking beer, raiding kitchens all over the world. Eating raw onions. Uh, Solomon's Reserve. No, that's a boozy booze. Four slices of toast and a tomato. Let's see, what does that do to our health? Now we're looking pretty good. Okay. Apparently I have a lot of health because, uh, dang, like, the food really does not restore that much. Am I encumbered? For crying out loud. For crying out loud. Okay, Sarah. You can't carry anything. What do I have that I don't need? Yeah, I guess I don't need a coffee bag. Uh, I can drop that. That's very heavy. Poly textile looks nice, but yeah, I guess that the, I'm not really doing that much in crafting. I'll probably regret dropping all this stuff later. Maybe just like keep everything that's like exotic or whatever. Common. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. We don't need common. Uh, what is this? What's that little magnifying glass? Maybe that means that it's like I it's like something important. Okay. We're fine. We're one under. We just can't pick up anything else, okay? Alright, quick save so we don't have to do that again. Okay, so what is oh, ooh, ooh, that's some money. What is going on over here? Something's shooting at something over there. Which means something's over there. And something's over there. Is there maybe a way around? Can we be sneaky? It looks like maybe we can. I wonder, like, our... Oh, it's just a bathroom. Oh no, that man died in the toilet. What did you say? You think there might be a first aid kit in the bathroom? A lot of video games just taught me that it's like, yeah, if you need first aid, you go to the bathroom. But then in real life, you go in there and you just find like a con dispensing machine. There is no, there is no eye in synergy. <laughs> so I love the stupid little posters. Okay, I guess. It sounds like the shooting has kind of died down a little bit. Now remember, we have mines, and our strategy is kind of like, we find people, we drop some mines, we run away, get them to chase. Okay, so who won the fight? That's the big question. That guy. Okay, I've been spotted. Too hot here! You have... 
No mercy. And I probably just took more than I can carry. So, that's a side star. Oh my, oh my. Where, where, where? Oh, okay. Some of them explode. So these are spacers versus, I guess, mercenaries or something. He's got cereal. I saw you. Can't hide from me. So I guess the spacers are like the bad guys. Secret outpost. I'll be having that. Read the secret outpost slate. Uh, again. It's just like everywhere you look, there's a there's a side quest waiting. Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to Denebula De De IB. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity, you'll regret this the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. Sounds like um, something to think about. I cannot go in here. Oh, but I think those look like bed kits. Or they're like they're like bed kits, but hold on. It's too difficult. Ugh. I have to go find a key. God's sake. Drop some of that rubbish already. Don't tell me what to do, Sarah. This rubbish is my life. Don't you know that you signed up with a hoarder? But I touched the artifact. I am special. And you're stuck with me. Eggs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the moon and we're gonna walk around and pick up random stuff. Why? Because that's just what I do. Ooh, pancakes! In a can? <laughs> Again, it's just... The, the sense of humor in this game is real fun. Uh, I will take that. Medpack! Medpack! Thank you! Thank you, Space Snake, for looking down upon your... your... your snaky boy with kindness. I should probably eat some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, pan of pancakes. Pancakes and maple syrup, fantastically fluffy, with raisins too. Ew! Who puts raisins in their pancakes? Seriously? I'm just gonna just. Yeah, this looks delicious. Some worms, some pancakes and worms. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll I'll, I'll eat this paste. Uh, let me see here. What? is I'm still three pounds overweight oh my lordy I guess on hold on what's like three pounds like I guess this thing do I really need it like do I really need all these guns probably don't need this I mean, it's got a lot of ammo that's what I ooh Deals double damage to targets with full health. Yeah, I forgot about this. Deals 30% damage on next attack after hitting target's limbs. Premium build materials make this weapon light as a feather. Look at the mass! Oh, lordy! Okay. Yeah, this is... This is going to be my new melee weapon. And then I guess I don't need this heavy old boy. That's pretty cool. Honestly, okay. As much as I love suppressed weapons for damage... Bye, 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 bye. You were just holding me back, my friend. Oh, and oh yeah, I forgot. I drank a bunch of sippy cup booze. <sighs> med packs, med packs, med packs. Wait, what was that? Reminder, run daily diagnostics. I hear combat music. Hi, hi, Sarah. You deal with this. Good job, Sarah. Yes, she's also hiding. You just keep throwing your grenades. You keep doing your thing. I'm looking. We're, we're in a medical facility. I need to find Here more bed packs. Show me what you got. You show them what you got, Sarah. Um. Well, the combat music's gone, so I'm assuming you did the thing. Record, source, record, type, record, 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 record. Reminder. We 
would be nice to find one more med pack, but... And ask and ye shall receive! And pills! Lovely. And it looks like you're dead. I don't know what Soba See is. See if they've got is any that... weapons or ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you could carry more, I would be happy to loot more. Uh, search and rescue key. Okay. Okay. Empty oxygen booster. Kind of a neat little lab. It's very, like, tight spaces, but this is kind of what you would expect from, like, a space... Uh, medical facility, like very very tight and cramped but to kind of save space. Sort of like makes makes sense to me. A little doctor's office, you know? Ooh. Body bags! Don't mind me, I'm just looking for the good stuff. That's weird, a supply room and there's like no actual loot in here. So you got me all worked up and, and, you, and then over nothing. Okay. Probably makes sense that the red door is where we need to go. Yeah, okay, we got the key. Okay. Okay, so that's what the key was for. Oh, whatever that is. Hey, med packs! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, cartridges. What's this? Uh, weapons that don't need. Uh, can of lentils, thank you. Interesting. I'm actually glad we... Oh, hi! I've been taking that. Doesn't look like you'll be needing it, sir! It'd be nice to find, like... A book of healing or something? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, what did I just pick up? Navigator pack. Ugh. Yeah, I don't need you. Seven. It weighs seven. Oh, my lord. Galvanized deep core pack is corrosive resistance. I feel like this is something I should sell because it looks very valuable. Do the secret of both mission. It's worth it. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Probably not on this stream, because I'm, I'm making very little uh, progress. Like, I'm, this, this is, I think, a plot mission, so this will give me progress. But basically, how my friend explained it was like, basically, just do the main plot. Don't get distracted with too many side quests until you come to some sort of... He's like, you'll know it when you know it. He's like, just do the plot up to a certain point. There'll be some big, fun stuff. And then, uh... And then you can... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Right. So, yeah, basically, these guys were fighting each other, but they're, they both hate me. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Size. And now we wait. Oh shoot. Uh no, not the scanner! Drop another one. That's right, you just come back out here. Sir, what are you doing? This is no time to do the paperwork! Come on. Come on. Why don't you come after me? Come, 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 come. I'm going to end you. No, 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 Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, okay, you just, actually, yes. This is actually, you just stay there. Okay, one mine. Where's the other guy? I don't think he's coming out. Toilet paper tube. I just always want... I always expect to like open up the stall and there's like a dude in there and he's like, no, you close the door, close the door. Okay, we're gonna take that mine back because uh Utility headphones. Ooh. 
radioactive combat knife. Spider, spider knife, spider knife. Or no, it's like, it gets to be knife man, not spider man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try, buddy. I do like the shotgun. The shotgun is nice. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, some rare looking ammo. Uh, cheddar crackers. Hello. Oh, 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 where are you? Where are you? Okay, you're over there. Oh! Okay, that backfired. I may have injured myself. What have I done? How do you find out your, where you're hurt? Where it hurts? Is there like a way to look at myself? Uh, status? Okay, there we go. Okay, apparently I did not. Oh, okay. So, all right, let's maybe eat some food. Yeah, crackers. Uh, heal base. No, I don't think we need that. What's this? Oh, improve your speech craft today. So basically, if you want to convince someone, take those. Okay. Uh, chicken and eggs. Delicious. We couple of those, can of beans, and some soba. And that is enough to get me unencumbered, okay. So why am I moving slowly? Did I like break my legs or something? Oh, maybe I just had cap locks. Yes, I just hit cap locks by mistake. Oh, hi. I guess, Sarah, you took care of the problem then, eh? I mean... Have a little mercy, man. I appreciate the uh, solution, solution-oriented mindset, but you know, they're still human beings. Or raisin bran. Okay, can I get my flashlight on? There we go. Finding a lot of fun stuff here. Med packs are great. Gummy bars. Coffee. I wish you could just like eat the food without having to put it in your inventory. Like, like you can sort of equip the helmets and such. Like, it'd be nice to just, like, eat it right where it lies. Okay, I think this interesting-looking kind of control room. Is there anything down there? Let's see what's up here. Work work. Okay, we got multiple bogeys, but it looks like whatever whatever we're after, it's in there. It's in that workroom. So, let's think about this for a second. We need a strategy, okay? Just running in and shotgunning everyone in the face is not really going to be the best solution. What is our strategy? It looks like, okay, I can see like there's two people over there for sure. Maybe three. Four. Okay, there's four people over there. Sarah? Can you... Oh, and they already know I'm here. Okay, wonderful. You can't shoot me through the glass. Um, Come on. That mission will give you much more than progress. Let's just pick a lock while we're here, right? They can't shoot me. Okay, okay. You've been caught tampering with a lock. Well, who gives a shit? Oh, okay, we got some. Now, we seem to have a lot of these infernal mines. I'm assuming uh, those are incendiary mines. So maybe uh, that could be fun. I do like the idea of setting people on fire. And we have six of them, so that's that's very good. Alright, Sarah. We have mines, and I intend to use them. Just follow my lead, Sarah. Sarah, follow my, follow my lead. Thank you, thank you. So 
they know we're coming. That's fine. Ooh, hello. Skill books. My friend will be. He will be taking that. We have here a uh, little bit of uh, space by. I love how they're just shooting at me and I'm just casually still just picking up little packages of apples and whatnot. Okay. Oh, hi! They're kind of like shooting the damn mines while I'm laying them. You got nothing, nothing. I don't. Is it that they, they can't come into this room or something? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, sucker! Let's just back away slowly. Hey, thankfully my suit has... You're also a flesh and flesh. Sarah, 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 Sarah! Damn it! I have a bind there, just get, get, get around the corner. We gotta lure... Sarah! Come back here. Come here. Come here. That a girl, that a girl. Okay, that sounds like a mine went off. Oh yeah, see, now they're on fire. <laughs> Sucker. Hold that double tap. Where's the other people shooting at me from? Oh, hi. You picked a bad place to grab cover. Oh, he's Sarah, do not grenade! Not for you! Oh, oh, oh no, no, go, go, go for grenades! Go for grenades, Sarah! He's stabbing you! He's stabbing you! Hold on, I'll shoot him in the back! Oh! Okay, he blew up a little bit. Sending one! Hey, that, that's actually... Yeah, it, you took the words right out of my mouth, Sarah. Did it work? Is he dead? I don't know if that works. But hold on. There's loot to be had here. Shock troop pack. Oh, look at all those credits. Ooh. Poison Brendel. Milk. Ooh, I am just cleaning a med pack. Oh, my lord. This is loot heaven. Okay, note to yourself. Story missions seem to have really nice... Ooh. I already have one of those. I will take these though. I do need my shotgun shells. Because I have to say, I love this shotgun. It's very nice. A modified calibrated Grendel. We still uh, need to find. Look. Feel free to drop some stuff. In. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do a little bit of inventory here. <clears throat> like, you can have. Ew, I don't want that poison Grendel. Radioactive combat knife. You're totally taking that. <laughs> uh, modified maelstrom. You can have that as well. And you want that? Oh, she, uh, okay. She's topped out. She's topped out. Maybe enough. Time. Where am I on the spectrum? I am four over. Okay. So is this good? So that gives you protection from human enemies versus plus twenty oxygen. And this one is. Uh, melee damage resistant. That's not bad, actually. That would probably be better right now for combat, but I do like the O2 thing. Um, Anti-ballistic. Okay. Do I really need this? Because this is very heavy. Uh, yeah. You know what? It's fine. It looks very fashionable, but... Yeah, spacesuits are just... I love how I just folded it up neatly into a box and just drop it on the ground. But spacesuits are very uh, heavy, and again, I just don't... I don't like the way they do the um, inventory management. Rapid coachman. Okay. Wait, no, I don't want to be down here. Uh-oh. Um, where am 
am I? Oh no. I didn't mean to go down here and now I'm kind of stuck, aren't I? Wait, what's in here? Hello? Okay. Can I get back into that room from this door? Yes, indeedy. Okay, so it looks like we want to go in here. And we're looking for... This is Vanguard this. Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in right, another request the next to get the fleet out to, here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. This guy sounds like uh, Boba Fett. Okay, so apparently Neptune's we're off to Nef Neptune. To after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Exactly is this by the way? What are we in? Like some sort of test room, I guess. What did they do in here? But I guess that's ooh. Hello, forklift room. Or the what do they call those? The dollies? Or what, what do you call them? I used to have to do these things at a grocery store. They're like the pallet lifters. There was a name for them. I just can't remember. Oh, okay, that's the charisma drug. Digi picks. Always willing to take a few of those. So I guess we're kind of done with this place. Like it's now time to move on. Just wonder if there is any decent loot. There seems to be like a lot of credits here. A lot of really fun lootables. Oh, hello. Okay, we didn't even have to go buy med packs. We're just finding like a million of them here, which could be a good thing. Could be a, uh, also a, 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 um, a foreshadowing of the horrible things that are waiting for me when I get back. Remember, I said that that, that one door I didn't like. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared about that. And I'm over encumbered. Okay, what can I throw away? What can I get rid of? This is honest. Like honestly, this is not my. The fact that I have to keep going in inventory, keep doing this, like just like triple the space right or or give like resources these should not have mass like it's ridiculous that like uh, i guess it's okay i guess it's kind of ridiculous to say like yeah i have like i'm carrying 600 pounds of duct tape and it has literally and i could just put it in my pocket like that's unrealistic hello we got so much money here but on the other hand it's just like it's just so annoying to keep going back into your inventory just to drop stuff that you don't really want to drop, but like, where are you gonna put it? I mean, my ship has inventory. Origin of the species. Oh, a little Darwin. But like, everything has weight. Hello, sweet looking chest. Oh, beast hunters. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? There's always, it seems, a nice little crate at the end of these places. So what's in here? I don't know. Ammo. Money! Oh my lord, we've made so much money. I don't, oh, oh hi. Return of the Interceptor coming this fall. I thought there was like Snake Plissken there for a second. Yeah. Um, ooh, ooh. Another med pack. Lovely. So it looks like this might be the exit. Oh, so that was the. We were the ones coming out of that door. I told you I wouldn't like what was going to come out of that door. False! A photon has no weight! Well, is it, does it, that doesn't have weight or doesn't have mass? I guess it's a massless particle, Captain, so yeah, hello. it doesn't have weight, right? I am satisfied. Touche, loot! Touche! Alrighty, um, so okay. Where is my ship storage? Looking it's good, like boss. here, right? What crap can I just put in here? I guess everything that's miscellaneous... Oh, 
Uh, pill bottle meal trays. Why did I pick those up? It's like when you drop actually good stuff and then you're like, why, 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 why? Okay, all of this can go in here. I don't think there's anything I need on me. We'll just put all these notes. Hit anything that's not a plot related one, I guess, just doesn't allow me to put it there. I guess I'll keep all my eight on me. Oh, darn, stop. When you accidentally hit E and then, it's like, what did I just pick up? I don't even know what I just picked up. So I don't know how to put it back. Oh, probably the origin of the species. Apparently I have two copies. Uh, okay, apparel. Weird, I don't know about that helmet. Uh, chunks cap, uh, yeah. I gotta keep it. Physician uniform. So I guess technically speaking, I could like put this on and then use a med kit and I'd actually get more health. Because the clothes, you know, make the man, right? Utility headphones. Okay, so that's just fashion. Uh, helmets. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be getting rid of that pirate helmet then because we've got a better one. Packs. Uh... Let's store these. Still like the one that I have. Uh, now what is this? Okay. So, negative 15% damage from aliens. And it looks kind of cool. Uh, I actually really like the look of this. Uh, I'm going to just put these in storage. Because I'm just sick and tired of... Is this the shotgun that I'm using? No, it's not. And it absolutely should be because it does increased damage against robots. And 25% increase in attack speed. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we're going to put the pass... Well, hold on. Can I make this one... What have I done? Oh, that's equipped now. Okay, whatever. Because I'm not in my inventory... Honest to God, though, the UI is the main problem that I have. Okay, that's there. Probably don't need that. I should put that in the ship. Again, uh, saving space is the name of the game right now, so I don't have to do this as much. Oh, no, wait, go. Go back. Okay, you go there. I guess I have to keep the cutter on me. Because it's useful. And that brings me to... Uh, 98 of 150. That's still, like, insane. Like, what the hell do I have on me that adds up to 90? Is it the ammo? Ammo has no mass, as it should be. Like, what is it? Okay, I'll equip that. I wish you could see, like, what the total weight of a category was. This has no weight. So, I guess it's just all these cans of pancakes. Oh, ship parts. That's quite heavy, okay. So I can put that in the ship, which seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, inventory, aid. Yeah, let's, let's store all of these. What does that do for us? Holy cow. Okay, so yeah, I had five of them, and they were ten each, not ten total. Wow. Okay, now I'm feeling nice and light and airy, so I think what I'm going to do is take a quick bio break, and then I think we're going to be off to Neptune. I think that's that's the plan, Stan. Oh, look at how cool that is. You can see your, your ship docked. All right, I'm going to do a bio break because it's pee, -pee time. Watch your kidneys. Loot will take them. I'll be back in five, and we'll continue on with the plot of this uh, dog and pony show. See you in a bit.
A kidney has weight, he says. Yes, you're correct, dude. A kidney does have mass. <laughs> that's got him back. And that's kind of cool. When you leave an idol, it just, like, zooms around your ship. That's kind of neat. Wee wee pee pee hee hee. Okay. <laughs> pee 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 pee. All right. We're going to Neptune, people. Or wait, hold on. Just for comedy's sake. Let's check out Uranus. Asteroids on Uranus. And a ship, really. Oh, I think we already went there, didn't we? Oberon. It's one of the moons, I guess. No, we're going to Neptune. Uh, do we go to the moon or no? I guess we have to go to Neptune proper. All right, let's let's see what we got. You cannot travel while the ship is docked. Okay, I guess I'll just like undock then. Easy peasy. That's cool. I like this little space station facilities. I am so I'm super impressed with this game. Alright. Yes, Aruni. Let's go to Neptune. Gonna flash a little closer. Bye bye moon. Bye bye moon. Alright. We are Wait, do you at, see that? Oh. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the I sights. I didn't see that, that could be but our good eyes. Okay, we'll head to this ship. Something's wrong. The oh. ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Get ready for what? Oh, are we fighting? Are we fighting? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're fighting. If you stop shooting at us, we'll be more way. than happy to respond. How do I shoot the missiles? Gee. Might find a couple of them, but they've locked me down. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead and our artifact's gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Target the Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. Okay, uh, the base of maneuvers. How do I target engines? Do I- oh, 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 no, 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 I've just turned off the HUD. How do I target the engines? Um... Do, okay, no, no, no. I need to target the engines. How do I go about doing that? Uh, okay, that, obviously not that way. Hold on. Uh, settings? Uh, <laughs> didn't mind me one second. Uh, spaceship flight, okay. Uh, next system. So right and left brackets. Or X and Z, okay. Let's try X and Z. Uh, no, 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 that's not. That's 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 internal systems, okay. Uh, well, no, not controls. Bindings, bindings. Open scanner. Select target. So maybe E. Um. Ship action one. Uh, let's try E. Select target. Do I target engines? Do I hold it down? Oh no 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 no! Don't hold it down! Don't hold it down! Special, what are you doing? Get back in your seat. We're in the middle of space combat. Stop! Stop faffing about. No, 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 not again! Not again! Stop it, stop it! Get back in your seat, Spatula! Okay. There are pieces of scrap flying right now. I assume this from my ship. All my shields are offline. All my shields are offline. Okay, boost. Let's use these asteroids as cover. How? This would be great. If, uh, okay, take the ground drive offline. We put more, more shields. Uh, we'll take more to engines as well. Let's be nimble. Stay behind him. Okay, we don't want to destroy him. What do I think could be... Okay, these are all internal. C. 
CV. Uh, what about R? That was a ship action one, right? If I use the scroll, no, that doesn't do anything. Uh, oh, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Okay, our shields are back, but really, you would think it would be some kind of wait. Do you think there would be something on the screen saying, like, this is how you target, right? Oh, okay, I just apparently healed myself. Select target E. Yes. Target lock. But I, I want to target the actual engines. It would be nice if we could, if we could do that. Maybe I could just get right behind him. Hopefully my shots will... How do I do this? Okay, maybe I have to hover on him and then press R. Okay. There's got to be something in the bindings, right? Fire boosters, switch flight modes, toggle POV, fire weapons, uh, select target, increase system power, Open scanner. Maybe the scanner is what I have to do. Uh, let's try the scanner. Oops. Oops. More of a ship. Okay. Okay, hold on. One second. Star, thank you, Google. Th uh, field, um, how to target engines. You'll need to unlock the targeting control system skill. It can be found in the tech. So it's a skill I have to unlock? What? So, do I have a skill point? I do not. So, how do you press it? You know, to the refine target on sliding. With a specific skill. So, what am I supposed to do? Like, it would have been nice to tell me this beforehand. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. So we're gonna have to just really try to see if we can. Oh no! Again, there's. The... I keep forgetting. There's no roll in this. Maybe we can just damage him with the old-fashioned just shooting at him. say like I am much bigger fan of elites flight model oh how dare you how dare you okay because maybe manually just by aim oh, oh, oh hello mr. asteroid it's nice to know that jousting is just a space combat thing it's not limited to me Okay, if only I had flight assist off. We're gonna get behind the target. Okay, slow down. I think it has a similar kind of like blue area, blue bar or whatever. Okay, again, no two self. I love that Dark Heavy, you were like, the title of this episode should be Revenge of the Pancakes, and I literally found a pan, uh, a can of pancakes. 
Why can't I get behind this guy now? Maybe if we just faff around like this long enough, uh, he'll get bored and just surrender. I need to just know in my heart that... Did, what are you doing walking around back there? Get on the missiles or something. Sarah, like, come on. Help out a little bit, you know? Maybe, I don't know. It's weird that, like, you need this skill to, like... Oh, I see. Well, um, when did I save again? Okay, I guess it saved on jump. Wait, do you see that? The so hold on a second. So I need a skill for this. Can I refund a skill point? Like, there's no way to like take this back and like I wish someone had told me like yeah you kind of need like what is it? Targeting control systems. That's annoying. That you just don't have that ability. Um, I'm thinking maybe what we should do is just like go level up somewhere so that we don't die or kill that dude. Kill that dude. Oh, look, I've always wanted to go to Europa, so let's go to whoever this is. I'll be back. I'll be back. I thank you for the F. Before I put a missile on your grab drive. You want to talk? Then talk. Don't waste my goddamn time. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. So, you do have a voice. Thought you pissed your pants for a moment. Um, I did, but... I If I did piss my pants, I sure as hell wouldn't tell you. I mean... Oh, this is the, uh, the other mission I wanted to do. you about to sign up with any average pirate crew. <clears throat> You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Rigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Okay. So... Board a ship and do an assassination. Um, why not hunt down Austin Rake yourself? There's a lesson in this. I need you to learn what will happen if you decide to turn your back on the fleet. Hmm. Consider it your glimpse into a possible unfortunate future. So you better pay close attention. So I'm not like... I'm not like... What options do I have to complete this Kill job? I'm not really a murderer. I mean, I murder people, but like casually, like not, you know. Turn the Ragana into space junk. Only way to be sure. Hmm. Okay. It's done when Rake's head back here when you finish. So that's the notorious Nova Mora. I have to say. If she's the finest that the Crimson Fleet has to offer, joining them might be a terrible mistake. I'm doing a secret mission. Shh, shh, shh. Um, how can you be certain he's on the Regana? I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity, but you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um... So, my thought there is that it sounds to me like, again, it's like destroy a ship, but maybe, like, I don't want to just, like, murder people if I can help it. So maybe 
there's another way. Like, maybe there's a way to, like, just sort of, like, tell him, why don't you, like, leave the system and pretend you're dead. Uh, but what I really need to do is level up. Um, and I'm wondering if, like, okay, do I have another quest I can do in this system? Where's my, uh... My quest. Well, hold on. First of all, how close am I to leveling up? Like, what's my health? Okay. Really freaking close. Okay. And I just need one skill point. So I just need, like, a tiny little bit of experience. And that should be enough for me to get, like, the thing that I need. Because I, I feel like also, like, if I find the Regana, if I take out their engines and board, maybe I can find a non-violent solution. So, is there something else that I could do really quickly here? I guess I could just go bring some iron. Okay, so maybe I go back to Mars just for a second. Because I think there were a couple quests that I didn't quite complete. Okay, so Mars. That's not on Phobo. Oh, the Vigilance. That's the prison ship. Oh, the Mars launch pad I'm not fully expecting. I think it's neat how you have like multiple locations in the same place. Okay, we'll go to Cydonia. Let's head there. Let's um, try and complete... I think there were two quests that I'd never handed in. One of the, Like, I never handed in the one for, like, put the sensor on the, on the roof. Now you can see why you see Marines that get sent here. Consider this posting a punishment. What are you talking about? It's beautiful. I love Mars. It's nice and dusty. Or air quality. Okay. We're in. All I need is just a tiny little bit of XP. I mean, technically, I could probably just go to a crafting bench or something like that. Just make a bunch of stuff. That might get me over the, over the, uh, the hump. Always nice to kick back in the broken spear after. A oh, day. um, Sarah. We need to rescue that back. Give me that iron back. I'd be happy to carry. I need all that iron that I gave you. Iron, iron. I will take all of it. Thank you. Oh, apparently, Sarah. I need two more iron. There was also that lady, um,. Okay, let's do this one first. Just need, oh, oh, oh. Apparently I don't have a jump jet. Give me that sweet, sweet iron. Thank you. Okay, got the iron. I was like, put it in the bin. Okay, here's the bin. Put the iron in the bin. Speak with Trevor. Okay. Oh, hi. Fuck, if that all you mind is really going to bolster our numbers. Ooh, yeah. What did you hear? What about the heart of ours? It? Sorry, mate. I've got no idea what you're on about. Hmm. It sounds made sounds up like you're hiding you something. me. But then again, maybe the other miners have been inventing some jargon I'm not familiar with. Best to ask around. Yeah, I don't know about that. I feel like you are. With the Claxons... What's with the clocks in that detonation announcement I heard? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? I'm still suspicious. Oh, no worries if that's all it is. Well, now I'm even more concerned. The particle detonations are happening all around me. Fracking with subterranean particles? What's that? Ah, no, no worries. Yeah, Bing no just worries, blowing mate. shit up down totally there. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 no worries. Or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to. If the quaking makes you uneasy, you'll be fine. What's that? Anyway, you Great. gonna give me experience? Now, the next the part next is a little part. tricky. Oh, no. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately. He's useless without an assistant. Uh oh. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. For me. And you 
as his assistant can get him to sign I'm, off on the approval. I, I, I should have assistants. I'm not like, wait, 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 you want me to become his assistant? We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. Okay, it's so it's not as bad as it take sounds. the job, get him to sign the paper, scenario, and then quit. You have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. Oh, It'll be easy, is there experience? Did, did, would it just be easier to ask him? You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. I have pills that make me speak Amos good. Does is so mired in I can convince him because of their contracts with the UC, which means, unfortunately. We need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Uh, fine, I'll do it. Now hold on, it's not that easy. Oh! You need to apply for oh, okay. Else. Head to the Demo Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out oh, the Oh, come on! Where that job is posted. Come back and see me now when we have done to go that. off world. We'll talk about how to secure okay, you. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. Yeah, you, you tell me about it. I'm not really doing it for them. I just want the XP. Security reminder. Oh. Low on See, I think Sarah and I are very much on the same page. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. What I want to do is... Where was the other... The bounty that got away? Return to the tracker agent. That's what I want to do. And hopefully this will just be like, quest complete, here's your XP. Well, she'll be like... I need you to sign up to be a janitor, a space janitor on a space station on Neptune. You help me with you're doing me a solid. All right, put your tracker up there. Good. I'm already Give getting the readings from it. Nothing yet, but when he shows, we'll get him. And how much XP Here's do I your get pay. For that? Think of it as your cut of the bounty for your assistance. You're welcome. Uh, we got some XP. We do we level up? We did it. We did it. It works. Okay. Target control systems. There we go. Do we now have this? I believe we have this. Yes. Okay. So now that we have that, we can just go do this. Back at Neptune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. It's good to be back on board. All right, so now, how do we do this? Can we target? Okay, we're almost locked. Target locked, okay, cool. Right, and how do we now, uh... How do we now, uh... Target lock, okay, okay, okay. Uh, engines, yes. Target, uh, target select system, AD. Uh, okay. Oh, I see how it works. So, you lock it on, then you go into target lock mode, then you target the engines, and then from here you shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. I think we're doing it. Oh, we did it! We did it! Okay, most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be allowed to dock. Once you're on board, expect the crew to go down. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, dock, please. Okay, hostile boarding! We're doing it! Oh, this is cool. That was stupid that I had to get that specific skill and waste a um, thing. Alright, now it's time for you to get out of your chair, Spatula, because it's apparently on fire. Always a pleasure, Captain. Alright, she's ready to go. Sarah, this is no time to relax! We're doing a hostile boarding. Okay, I am very stoked to try out this new shotgun, actually. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Bitten sandwich, okay. Already, I'm liking this. Sustenance waiting in the airlock. Who leaves a half-eaten sandwich? So I assume they know that we've docked with them, right? Ecliptic again, those guys. 
Okay, I'm assuming those guys are like the Enclave. Uh, fermented milk drink with the consistency of a thin yogurt. Well, I'll try anything once. Uh, milk does body good. Seems to have been a little bit ruffled up there. I have to get this food now, otherwise, you know. It's absolutely freezing here. Shh. I do not recommend extended exposure without our suits. So put on your suit, Sarah. What are you doing? There's a door there. Apparently, they are transporting coffee. That is a bathroom. Alright. I don't think the stealth approach is gonna work. I think we have to go full full Ooh, hi. A rare pistol, lovely. Frontier. Oh, that's my ship. Okay. Alright. Quick saving. Okay, and reload. And shoot! And reload! And... Hello! Just gonna hide behind this desk and... Hi! A grenade! Okay, I really do kind of regret giving you those things. A little bit, okay. Got two guys here. Yeah, the reload on this is a little bit much, but damn if it doesn't do good damage. Um, Sarah! When I'm punching them in the nuts, can you not shoot grenades at me? Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Corrosive rescue axe. Interesting. Take their ammo. I accidentally take weapons. A tape measure. I get so distracted by just the copious amounts of loot. Ooh, med packs. Lovely. Okay, what's in here? Time for more shoot shoot! Ah! Oh, it's just you. Hi. Who are you? Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? So wait, were you flying the ship? Were you shooting at me? You were in the one in the cockpit. I guess they took it over from auxiliary control or something. Um, so I could say we're from the Explorers Group Constellation. We need to talk. Breaching a hostile ship and saving lives. My kind of party. More violence. No one has any respect for space these days. <laughs> Sound like a grumpy old man. Back in the good old days, we didn't do space violence. Uh, who were those people? Why they the ship? I guess like this is the most honest thing. This feels fun to play. Like yeah, like I do this all the time. Yeah, this is this is this is my form of entertainment. Now I know. Hey, what up, Ray Mobula? How you doing? You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What up? How you doing? What? Seriously? I didn't. Man, I've I heard stories, see, uh... but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. Oh, the lighting is so weird on her. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So, you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oi. Uh, it'll be better in our hands. I'm gonna groan on behalf of scientists anywhere, and then you're gonna hand over the artifact. <laughs> yes. Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. I love but that. I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here. Happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Dope. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Good work. You were using it as a bobblehead? Oh, you, you heathen. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're, we're okay, dude. We got what we needed. Now we can go. 
That was a cool little sequence. I like that. That's so cool. You shoot at the engines, you board the ship. Like, please. Please, put that in Elite. Oh my lord, I would just be amazed. Time to get this ship I think I'm wasting so much time looting. Like, there's probably no point in doing all the- Okay, Sarah, where are you? You got anything to say? Back to the lodge, shall we? Back to the Time lodge? To I don't want to go back to the lodge. I guess that's... Hi, Captain. Good to see you. I guess that's the next part of the quest, but... While I'm here... And while I now have the ability to shoot at engines... Hold on, what's wrong with my ship? How bad is my ship? Let's undock. How's that guy gonna get away, by the way? I shot at his engines. What's he gonna do? All right, I probably need to repair. That's cool, we can do that now. Maybe before we head back to the lodge, there was another mission that we wanted to do with the Ragama. And maybe shooting out their drives could be another wonderful option. Ooh, hold on, let me scan Neptune. Is it scanned? This location cannot be landed on. No flora, no fauna. Yeah, I guess it's a gas giant, so that makes sort of sense. All right, uh, yes, it's the latest, a moon of Saturn. That'd be cool to visit Saturn. Although, I guess, like, what year is this? And, like, will Saturn actually still have rings by then? Because I did hear that Saturn is eventually going to lose all its rings. All right, tense the latest. There's always another mission. Oh, I know, right? It's just endless. It's like, you you take two steps in any direction, and someone's going to be like, Hey, can you deliver this letter for me? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Dmitry Moldavsky, pilot of the Ragana. We Hello. are a simple transport ship heading to New Homestead. We do not want any trouble. Hail or attack? Well, let me quick save. Let us, uh, let's talk. And boy, do I have some bad news for you! Okay, I kind of like that. I do not understand. Please confirm, confirm your, your intentions. intentions. Okay. Uh, you assist defense. Uh, the fleet wants Austin Ray dead. I'd like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Okay. Crimson Fleet. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to open your hatch and I'm going to board. So, here's the thing. If I say this... Like, what if these guys are the pirates and this is the test? Right? Like, I kind of need to sort of... Like, I kind of want to spare him. I don't want to, like, murder people for pirates. Like, I'm not evil. Just chaotic neutral. But I also am, like, a little cautious that I'm trying to... I have to act the part. So I kind of think I have to be like, yeah, you're going to open your hatch, I'm going to board. Damn it. I do not have choice, do I? Nope. Okay. Docking bay is open. Let's talk. That's what I like to hear. Okay. So let's dock. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. This is awesome. As an elite dangerous player coming over and being able to intercept ships and hail them and dock them, like, this is absolutely um, amazing. Alright. So we're going to try... I thought there was like a giant spider in my washroom. I was getting freaked out there. Okay, quick save before we go on there. You're here, but actually in bed now. Loot is loot is lying down because uh, all that kid, all those kidneys he's eaten is really. All right, so. All right. Looks like everyone's a little edgy. No one needs to really panic. It's all good. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. This is true. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. This is true. I, I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. I don't know who's listening over comms. This is safer. Ah! So that is cool because that means, like, if I had gone with that option, they would have freaking known. Okay. I'm making good decisions here. Um, I don't know who's listening over comms. This is safer. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Which means you're a narc. Now, do you mind telling us what no. this is all about? Okay. 
So, the fleet wants Rake dead. I want to resolve this out without violence. Um, I mean, that's kind of what I want here. Persuade. Austin Rake is a crimson fleet pirate. Kill him, and I let you go. Oof. Oof. Like, do I trust this guy enough to say, like, the fleet want Rake dead, but I want to resolve this out? Now, even though it is the UC Sis defense, like, in brackets, like, that's why... Like, I'm not saying, like, hey, I'm an undercover agent infiltrating the Crimson Fleet. Like, I'm not giving it away. I'm just saying, listen, the fleet wants them dead. I I don't like the violence thing. I'm just not into that. So let's go with that. Let's see you really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? Oh, sir, I like You do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Deliver him to Sistence. If the fleet find out about this deal, we're both exposed. The fleet won't buy that. Someone may need to die after all. Oof. Oof. So... Ooh. I think, yeah, you better take him there. Like, no one can know about this. We're all gonna... Yeah. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? Oh, that's who it, it is. It does not appear you do. Well, then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship, and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. Okay. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Okay, so these guys played ball. Be careful around the fleet. They talk about family, but it's just a bunch of crap. Is that Vin Diesel? unpleasantness aside, the people of New Homestead will be grateful for this. So supplies. now what? They're gonna put me in a cis-deaf prison? I'm not saying it's worse than death, but... It's pretty damn close. If you ever get to the key, you better sleep with one eye open and two pistols loaded. The key? So you're the fleet's new dog, huh? Be careful around the fleet. They talk about family, but... We will make sure Rake's name is... And I hope you do not take this the wrong... I thought we were dead. I can't believe it. Thank you for letting us go. Aw, everyone likes me. What's this? Can't get into Thank you for letting us go. But just so you know, the fleet means business. I'm still gonna mess your stuff up. So you're the fleet's new dog, huh? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, well, I was able to resolve that without, without violence. My concern now is, like, is that enough? Lifting off right away, or... Like, will the lack of body be a problem? Like, are they gonna call Everything's me out on it immediately? I should have done, like, a, a new save slot before that. Let's undock. Well, let's. I guess we can go see if that worked. This game is fun. I like it. Um. Okay. Uh. We go back to the Astria. We. There, there's going to be plenty of violence. I mean, we did a lot of violence already. We have hit our violence quota. Hey, what a hell me with some target what? practice. Um, okay. We're shooting people. Um, what, G for missiles? Oh, these damn ecliptic loonies. I don't know who these people are, but I am sick and tired of their... Sick... Oh, oh nope, nope. Tab does not boost. This is... is an elite. Left ship is boost. Locked. Oh, that's cool. I like this. So this is kind of like your VATS targeting system sort of thing. Hey, 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 hey. I probably need to the weapons. Boom shakalaka! Bye-bye! Oh, 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 hold on. There's, there's more. Okay, I'm not dead, I just turned the HUD off, actually. Target 
circuit lock, okay. Let's take up their engines. Shoot the missiles! Okay, I think they're disabled. Okay, stop turning off your HUD. Is that a bad guy? No, that's the mission guy. Where is the wait? Ah! <laughs> Apparently I died! I know, you got your violence right. Shoot all of the missiles! I think this is a neat system. Imagine if Elite had a multi-crew system that was kind of like this. I think that would actually be really cool. Oh, I also wish that in Elite you could have a. Whoa, 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 Okay. Apparently I suck. Fix my keybinds. What should they be? Thanks for the Fs. I just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, look, what a hell we put some target practice. Shoot all of the missiles? Um, repair, 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 repair. Oh my lord. Okay, pips to shields. Pips to shields. How do you do the pips to shields thing? Okay, it seems shields are good, shields are good. Okay, bye bye. Oh, maybe not quite. Where'd he go? Come on, he's at like one health. Slow down to turn quick. Alright. No! Oh my lord, this is actually hard. This is a tough one. These are my laser weapons. <coughs> get their shields down. Okay. Now get target lock. And then we'll just like. I'm trying to like target different systems. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just boom! Boom shagalaga! Oh yeah! That's what I like to see. Okay, who's next? Who's next? And oh, 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 repair, 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 repair. Oh! 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 Okay. This is tough! This is very tough. Alright. We'll try again. You have major lag. Is the stream lagging? I, I don't think it is. You do, you do. Can we chat now? Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control. Oh, sure you did. But definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. That's what I do. I make things Now tell quick. me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Ooh, so should I lie? Austin Rake is dead. The Ragana survived. Actually, I ran into some complications. 
Who exactly is the ecliptic, and why are we attacked by the ecliptic? Who is the ecliptic? Mercenaries. Oh, Girls that's right. That's right. That their own parents if they were paid enough. Bunch of dirty burks. I'll tell you, we do a hell of a lot of dirty work in the Crimson Fleet, but we never sell away our souls like an ecliptic merc does. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the big decision. Do I say Austin Rake is dead and they're going to survive? Like, okay, I killed him. Because, like, they told me they're going to say, like, he was never on the roster. Right? So. Oof. Oof. Let's try the complications. I don't like complications. The Regana Ogumis. Uh, I searched the ship. Austin Rake wasn't on board. Okay. Let's go with that. Bullshit. My source was rock solid. Ooh. You, though? I'm starting to doubt. Your story stinks worse than Adler Kemp. And that son of a bitch probably Might have been the wrong hasn't choice. showered in a month. So choose your next words very carefully. What really happened out there? Oof, 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 oof. I saw a chance to make money with no risk. I made them unload their car cargo. Sorry, I tend to forget things. On that note, who are you again? Oh! Oh, I want to say that so badly, but it's not going to go well. Alright, fine. I saw a chance to make money. I, I, I'm going to tell a, a weirder lie. Okay. Not your greed get the better of you and now Austin Rake slipped away the fleet needs to be able to trust that you can follow orders my orders okay that she thinks I'm incompetent you okay saved my ass okay and decent pilots are tough to find these days yes I'm in so I'm gonna let this one slide but guess what damn it it's gonna cost you extra Ugh, Jensen, those catch. supplies I know you grabbed from the Regana. I was gonna let you keep them. But now, they're mine. Consider it payment for the hit I'll have to put on Austin Rake. And more importantly, for wasting my time. I should've just said he was dead, but I feel like that would've caught up with me at some point. Alright, fine. Now you see how it works. I give an order. And you follow it. Remember that. Anyway, you want it into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. I'm a pirate! This with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Clear as mud. Ooh, space scoundrel. Why send a person? I'd rather have you come after me. Ooh, let's go for that, yeah. Be careful what you wish for. You screw up bad enough, and I just might. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm going to upload the coordinates for our headquarters. Is this going to be like a, like a, a multi-level marketing scheme meeting? The, key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. All right. Well, we're in. I hope you know what you're doing. So I have infiltrated the space pirates. Is I'm undercover. Yeah, do you still want chat? I target her. You're trying my patience, Rook. Why do you want us to read that? run with the fleet. Hell, back then he had a different name. Everything blah, 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 was fine blah, blah, blah. until. I don't care. I don't care why you want him dead. I just care that he's not dead. I managed to solve this peacefully without having to murder anyone. By the same token, uh, I managed to lie my way in. And lying is fun. And I think I did it in a way... Like I'm, I'm kind of concerned that like if I had tried to do that in a different way, like for example, if I had said like oh yeah yeah he's dead like maybe the lack of body might have caught up with me at some point or another or maybe that was a lie that you can't recover from I don't know if I played that correctly or how many different angles there are what is this is this like loot I just smack into it bump into it 
Elliptic stiletto. You got a lot of questions, Rook. Hopefully you oh, fight as well. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Can I take this loot? How do I take this loot? Is this even loot? Can I just dock with this? Can You're I trying, in? my patience. I did. I'm not talking. Why am I turning? I am trying to pick up the loot here. <laughs> apparently, apparently, the lady I hired there is not impressed with this. Who dat? Oh, that's just like pieces of this ship. I think it's kind of cool how the ships break up. Um, they look kind of like weird modular bits. Like, whereas like in Elite, like you get these really cool um, bits and pieces everywhere, but ultimately like it is like just one piece of like hollow cargo or whatever. Whereas this feels like, yeah, like individual components are just kind of scattered around, which is very neat. Uh, ecliptic stiletto. Oh! So you just target it, and then you can just suck it out directly from the thing. Okay. I guess you have to be close enough. GOLD! I love GOLD! Okay, so I guess the next Crimson Fleet thing is like out of this system. Report to the Vigilance, okay. Because they're going to want me to go to some nearby system called Cracks or something. The Cracks system? Oh, hey, Danny. I just want to go to these places and find like elite Easter eggs. If there are no, if, if there's no elite Easter eggs in this game, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh, Cricks, that's all the way over there. Um, yeah, um, I guess that's gonna be more of a long-term goal. So let's see, what did we need to do for the main mission? Return to the lodge, I guess, I guess we can do that. Fine. Or is that this new Atlantis, right? Oh wait, that's not in um, Seoul. I like this. This is cool. There's like a survey. So as you survey a system, I guess you get exploration points for it. So I'd have to go back to Alpha Centauri. Is there anything else that I need to do in Seoul before I move on? Because the odds are I will be back for, like, I will be back, just not for a while. Is there anything else important? Go to the secret outpost and double the IV. Well, that's probably not in... I definitely want to do this, though. Loot said we should do this. Report to the Vigilance. Yeah, I guess I should probably do that, right? Uh, find this guy the weird book. Uh, go to the abandoned fuel depot. Oh, that was, just feels like a very small... I don't care about a quest. Uh, apply for the assistant director job. Yeah. When I come back to Seoul, I'll do all that other stuff that I need to do. I guess, yeah, what I should do is go to the Vigilance, report in with um, those folks that I am undercover for, and then I guess at that point we, we can head back to the lodge, and I'll probably, that's probably where I'll, um, probably where I'll call it a stream once we get back to the lodge and find out just, like, what's next. I don't feel like I'm making that much progress, to be honest, because I keep getting distracted with inventory management, stupid side quests, and just like, ooh, let's look at that. Which, that's that's good. That's cool. I mean, that's that's awesome. Oh, wait, should I? Okay, I guess I can dock. I'm thinking of Elite. I'm like, do I have to hail them before I dock or they're going to shoot me? But no, it's not Elite. They don't murder people for loitering. You can just imagine, it's like, I just imagine, like, someone, like, being like, and this is where David Braben lives, wow. Let's just stand here on the lawn for a couple minutes and admire his beautiful house. And then Braben comes up with a shotgun. He's like, how dare you? Don't you see the sign? This is no loitering. Loitering, loitering was a crime punishable by death. Shame the United Colonies built really such an impressive ship for battle, instead of losing it for exploration. Uh, are you the guy? Hello? I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. 
Follow this guy. Okay. Operations does good work. What's up, dude? I'm a pirate now. We got the message from Are you the happy? Are you proud of me? Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port. Off the books. Off the Suffice books, to say, he's got a lot to answer for. I'm glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anyone innocent or fun. I would have been fine killing Rake myself, but I didn't want to traumatize the crew. I risked my cover to do it, so you better damn well appreciate it. Damn! There's so many dialogue options, and I just I want I, I want to just save Scum and then like try them all. Um, I'm glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anyone innocent or otherwise. I would have been fine killing Rake myself, but I didn't want to traumatize the crew. This is the legit. This is legit. I just don't want to kill him. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. Oh, oh one okay, we need to talk about that later. More. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. What? There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. I died like 17 times, you jerks. Like, literally, I could have died out there. I did, in fact. I remember it. I have the footage to prove it, okay? Uh, you weren't Ecliptic's primary target. Besides, oh. I had every confidence you'd be able to handle this situation. Tell, yeah, tell that to Isn't my PTSD. That, never possibly denying you entry into the Crimson Fleet for coming back without killing Rick. Well, it does. It's a clever plan. The fleet doesn't suspect a thing. It's a dangerous plan. And you came awfully close to killing an innocent crew. Luckily, you have a good head on your shoulders and did the right thing. How dare you? I, how dare you next phase uh, question me? Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. You guys are watching everything, eh? In command. So getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Second Fleet. Second in command. These idiots don't suspect a thing. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> you can believe in honor among thieves, but I'd venture they suspect everyone until proven otherwise. You just need to make sure you allay any suspicions they have, staying within the proper moral boundaries, of course. It'd be cool if they make Do me like, you like have you have to kill your companion, you have to kill Sarah. Can't. To like the Crimson, the Crimson Fleet has fleet. yet to like, leave us enough hard evidence dilemma. to build a solid case against them. Be careful not to underestimate their intelligence. How the fuck do you so not have solid e evidence against this agenda. giant pirate guild? Come on. Uh, so I was told to meet Nava at the key. I got coordinates to Crimson Fleet base. Nava wanted to meet near Europa again. Uh, should I get off the vigilance before my cover is blown? Uh, yeah, I was told to meet Nava at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's yeah, whatever. most it's of fine. all. I'll just swing it. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I You're all underestimating me! But it's important to know your enemy, and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, You'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. Huh? I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. Certainly increased my estimates on success. Dude, I got this in the you bag. The I'm all about We've infiltrations and investigations. This is my ballywick, you know, man. Anyway, I don't know if I like your attitude, though. These people underestimate me all, all the time. I know I don't have a good head on my shoulders. I have, no, I have no problem murdering people. I'm just, I'm not in the mood. I wasn't in the mood. I wasn't in the mood for uh, uh, bloodlust and carnage. Oh, cool door. Yo, whose quarters are these? Ooh, Commander's terminal. What have you got here? Pirate operations. Uh, Crimson Fleet tactics. Personal documents. Here we go. 
State of the Vigilance. I mean, these aren't really personal documents, are. Like, this guy's kind of a workaholic. All his personal documents are about, like, Crimson Threat stuff. Ooh, here we go. We got a diary entry. There are years here where nothing happens. Years that can define a life. I was 16 when I first took the sky. I was 17 when it all came crashing down. This guy's, like, written his little manifesto here. Instead, I turn away. I leave him crying a blow in the void of space. What, what does not realize I'm doing this for him? I fight the Crimson Fleet for all the fathers and futures. What? Oh, it says dad, dad got killed by the Crimson Fleet. Or no, they got pirated. And he's like, don't, don't, don't go fight the pirates. I, I don't. You got nothing juicy. What a, what a, what a stiff. This guy's got no personality. Nothing is beyond our reach when we work together. I do love the little motivational posters. They're fun. Pressurized. Eh? Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Hello. Hello. Skill books everywhere. Okay, well, um... I guess we're good to go then. And yeah, I'm just... I'm not in the mood to, to go around murdering people that don't need to be murdered. I... I'm a man of persuasion. I can talk my way to most Captain, situations. Do you require my Yeah, 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 robot, whatever. I like how the robot always has to wait outside of the ships. I bet it's Let's like yeah, they just couldn't they space. couldn't have him be in here and deal with all the furniture. So they're just like, ah, fine, he's just always outside. Station, which is Captain. fun. Who asked you? Sit down and do your job. That's what I pay you for. I like the little get into the cockpit animation. All right, let's undock. And I guess we gotta head back to New Atlantis, back to the lodge. Let's try to put these artifact pieces together and see if we can advance a little bit of the story. Oh, we surveyed an asteroid, that's fun. Interesting how this, I like how the system map kind of works in this. All right, uh, back to Alpha Centauri, and not the eye. Uh, shoot. Which planet is it? Oh, this looks nice. The Lodge. Can I go right there? I mean, honestly, as much as the fast travel is convenient, it like it. Okay, so like. On one end, you have Elite, where it's like, you want to go to Hutton Orbital, like, load up an episode of Star Trek, you're going to be there for a while. And then you have Starfield, where it's like, oh, you want to be halfway across the galaxy uh, at a very specific house on a very specific planet? Yeah, cool, just go there. And I kind of feel like the Elite stuff, yeah, sometimes they can get boring and too long, but, you know, you can always watch an episode of Star Trek. With this, though, it definitely feels like, um way too implausibly quickly. You got something to say? We should add that artifact to the collection as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're doing. We're literally here. Ooh, I got a leg spike there. Lodge it up, baby. Ooh, now I get to see if my room is persistently dirty. <coughs> Sir Norgan is no longer your companion. You're back. Did you... One second. I need to go to my room. Oh yeah, still looking good, still looking good. I like that, persistent messes. Whee! It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Here we go. Is there anything new showing up? Years until I saw you. No, again. it's the same as before. It's gonna build a Dyson sphere for ants. What is that, a Dyson sphere for ants? That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. <coughs> Here. More, more, You've more, more, earned more. this. Whoa, whoa. What Welcome I Welcome to Constellation. What did you give me? As a full member this time. Oh, wait, I was only a partial member? I expected champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? Oh fuck yes. I'm not sitting behind Sarah, you're like this. you're like my permanent These companion. Artifacts, I don't care about I don't care who comes up. And I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. 
<laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Uh, maybe later I have some personal errors. Uh, you got it. Like, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Sir, sir it's Bachelor forever. Needs we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star mm, station in okay. orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier oh, from guy. Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, more, more, more! <laughs> we should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Uh, whoa! Credits and experience. Wow, okay, okay. Um, all right, what can you tell me? What's the eye? Who's Vladimir? Oh, so I just got three. We maintain a star station in orbit above or us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Okay. And yeah, let's let's set that one. Active. What can you tell me about his Barrett? mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. And what about this Sam Co? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Okie dokie. Uh, oh. So, what should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. When you say, like, all over, you mean, like, all over? Uh, and what about, uh, how did you know there was an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. It's kind of kind of like like it's weird in the sense Bye that. Bye for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we still we still hanging, right? You still with me? Come, 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 come. Okay, what about you? Your father. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. Wait, what? Anything my dad? I can learn from is it. What did my dad tell you? Okay, apparently I have nothing here. Stay safe, okay? So hold on, hold on. Does that mean I have a note from my dad? Oh my god, is there gonna be a parent side quest? Uh note from dad. If you could stop by home, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Nothing urgent, but I would sure like to see you. Okay, so apparently apparently dad wants to check in. I guess we gotta go visit the folks. Oh, Mom, what are you doing? Like this is what are you talking about with you? you has made Dad, you're. Day. What are you. I'm being oh, hi. serious. Why did you have her deliver the message? You could just. Okay, anyway, what's I up, I hope Dad? you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know <laughs> I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You could. You have hidden depths, Mom. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far, but I'll let your father talk before he bursts. Uh -oh. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And oh. when he heard you were in Constellation... A nice gun? Well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. No. She fires beautifully now. Dad we got me a gun? Took turn sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying... May I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. Malcolm Livingston. All the special modifications just as he left it. Aw, oh, Dad, you should have. I love guns. <laughs> oh, God, no, Dad! I'm so it's sorry. It's it just, yours. I was cleaning it and it just went off. Sweet. Dad got me a gun. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it. You really shouldn't have a gun. Next person I shoot, I'll think of you. <laughs> oh, 100%. Oh, that's a terrible joke <laughs> you are joking right <laughs> of course you are well we'll let you get back to it 
Dad's but, like, mm -hmm, uh, I don't like your humor. Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Yeah, you want to see my room, Dad? I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos. You, you know, it's supposed to be us taking care of <sighs> I'd like to see. Well, I I, I really hope. And this sounds it's horrible to, to say. Home. It sounds what really horrible just, to say. What's so much you're welcoming. But I really hope Make that at some point and and I mean, we I get like an guess. Uncle Ben I, uh, slash like, you know, Batman's parents moment. Where like my parents are like, yeah, son, we're gonna come visit you, and then like the main antagonist, of the the thing, just like kills my parents, so that I have a blood vendetta, so I could be like, when I'm about to murder, I'd be like, you killed my parents. Yeah, I can't wait for my dad and mom to see my room and just how awesome it is. Look at all the stuff I got. Watch out, Sarah. Watch out, Sarah. We're, we're doing some renovations. We're just moving some stuff around here. There we go. I think it's looking much better now. What do you what do you think, Sarah? It's looking great. It's looking great. Um hmm. So yeah, I guess at this point it looks like the kind of the, everything kind of like now goes into three branches. So I've still got my you know, like I've got to travel to the key, but that's like really far away. And I don't even think I can jump there. I don't know how fuel actually works in this game. Like, do I just have a jump range, or is it, like, is there actually fuel, and I have a limited number of jumps for it? I, I actually don't know how that works. Um, but I have a feeling that, like, I'm probably also going to want to level up a little bit before I continue with this quest. I hope I've made the right decisions. I hope I've not, like, screwed myself later. It seems like I think I, I think I played it pretty smooth. I think I played it pretty smooth. A um, bunch of these, like little like delivery missions I don't really care about um don't care about that when we go back to Seoul at some point or whatever we can clean those up um don't really care about like I guess these are kind of like guilds or whatever and really but I also don't really care about um not really caring about base building at this point so it looks like pretty much like I guess okay either go back to Vectera Okay, so there's, there's like literally like one in this system. So maybe, I kind of, I kind of want to end it here. But maybe I could do one, maybe at least just like a little progress there, right? Piloting. Oh, I got my piloting rank up. Oh, so this actually increases your ship turn rate. Wait, that's a skill? I, I guess it's a skill. Yeah, I mean, you would think it might be like. Like an elite where like different ships have different turn ratios and stuff. Maybe there's a, a layer on top of that. Actually, I would really love to see um, in elite, like, you know, your elite rankings, like skill points and lo loadouts. I would actually love to see that. Um, unlock the ability to pilot class B ships and class C ships. Wait, what? So like, I don't currently have the ability to pilot a class B ship, whatever the heck that is. Interesting. I really should probably like familiarize myself a little bit more with this. Okay, so like, yeah, there are like, if you want to create your ship and you have like a really nice superior ship module, like you also need a skill. And it seems really weird, like that, that last mission, that was a plot mission. And I had to disable the engines of someone and it did not tell me like, hey, you actually have to have this skill. To me, that's actually probably not great design. We'll tell you what, if you will bear with me for one more bio break. Ooh. Actually like that. Yeah, I need more combat stuff. I'm all I'm all gift of the gap here. Although I really want to get instigation to get people to convince to fight me. And manipulation sounds really fun. Force um, NPCs to obey commands. So, like, I could, like, basically say, yo, you there. I know you were shooting at me, but you're my be you're my friend now, and you need to attack that other guy. I assume something like that. I also wouldn't mind this one. I don't know what that means, but... You can stop alien creatures from fighting. Force a target creature up to ten levels higher than you to obey commands. <clears throat> and this one I really like, because... It's like, how many people can you have on your ship, right? 
I assume also you probably need a bigger ship because my ship's kind of tiny. Um, I mean, maybe I'll get into base building at some point or another. I, th I feel like I need to make progress with the plot before I really become interested in that. Whee! I love artifacts. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. Yeah, yeah, family, family. I mean, I might, I might actually like. I hope there's an option to romance uh, Sarah Morgan. I want her to be my bae. You've What's been up, given mom and a dad? precious opportunity. Yeah, seize it. Yeah, like Never basically. Like who let who let them in here? Just because I'm. And a, you whoa. must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional <coughs> little family. Who are you? Oh, you must be Sam Co. <laughs> Wild mission complete. I found Sam Co in the next room. Don't overwhelm me with welcome right now. I might never leave. Uh. Uh. Sure. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is in a way. The like silence more of the than sand? you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Glad to meet you, Karsa. Uh, no offense, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable taking a kid into danger. Uh, good to meet you, Karsa. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship honest now let's talk business sarah tell you about the expedition uh only that it was in free star collective space sure enough that's where we're heading the three of us are heading to aquila for a settled planet of the free star collective and not coincidentally the home of their capital aquila city we'll land in the city spaceports but the frontiers are goal. <coughs> like my ship Rough country Spawned a lot of stories. Oh, okay, okay. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Art artifact. Um, okay. I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later because I kind of want to do the one that's in hurt. the system. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Okay. So I know that this guy is here. So when I'm ready to do that, I can come back here. I'm planning a grocery run later. Get some things you okay. I hope oh, Barrett mom. makes it back to us. All right, I, I am going to do a buy break. Uh, I'll be back in five, and then I'll just do the... I just want to go to the space station um, thing and see what that's all about. Because I like space stations. I'll be back. Um, enjoy the kidney. It's into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still... We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects.
It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, these Thanks. little chatterboxes have been going off. Everyone's just talking to me as I stand on the stand on the table. I'm right, look at how Sounds proud my parents look. Sounds magical, like a storybook. Uh, the money you sent home. Well, Lord and Corpus parents in the video. <laughs> <laughs> to both of us. Don't do it, How did, did Dark Heavy win so easily? How about Brains then? Oh, wrong channel for that. Yeah, this ain't no zombie story. Um, okay, so can I just fast travel literally from here? Yeah. Oh, I'm also supposed to, like, check out the Constellation mission board. Hold on. Are those? I bet those are like procedural missions. But where is that exactly? We've always considered ourselves explorers. This uh, is nope, that's a ship. Mission. Of all board. the places we've lived, this is my. <sighs> that's right. I don't need no stinking stairs. Oh hi. Bye. <laughs> Just like wake people up. That could be a mission board. No, that is a dart board. Is that a mission board? No. This is a mission board, surely. Do you remember there was a workbench or something in here? Pharmaceutical lab. Yeah, can I make myself some... How do I make... Oh, snake oil. Like, literally, it's just called snake oil. It would be nice to actually make, um... Med kits. Maybe I have to level up my uh, skills or something before I can do that. Yeah, okay. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life. Take care of yourself. Alright, I guess what we can do here is we want to go to the eye. Because that sounds really cool. I just want to know what that is. 
I like space stations. After you, Captain. Alright, we are on the ship above a very cool looking Earth like world. We approach the eye. Let's hail them. The eye is open to you, constellation. Oh, oh that's nice. Let's boost, we'll get there quicker. What's that? Hello. Trying to wrap up this patrol here. Are you just patrolling? That's cool. You do your thing. Ooh, interesting. Oh, so this is like um, a satellite, or like a, it's almost like the, the James Webb Ultra Telescope. Let's dock. Oh, I love how the docking looks. This station looks really cool. Unlike anything from Elite. All right, let's check it out. I always go back and then meet up with the other dude. All is well, Although Captain. Sarah did say go do the Barrett thing first, but that is in another system. It almost feels like it wants you to kind of do the one that's like right there, right? Hello. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, good packs. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, please! Can we get something like this in Elite? Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Can I just space myself? No. The game will not let me space myself. Anything good? Bad people, bad jokes. Three. Uh, a chunk... Chunk's chunk walks into a bar. Partner says, we don't serve food here. Chunk sit down and says, I guess I'm in the right place. I think I've already read that one. With this. Nope. Can't eat it. What? Seriously, what? Okay, so apparently a section of the eye is broken. <clears throat> I'm assuming I'm using. Oh, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the mid packs. I assume I'm using like mag boots because there'd be no gravity here. This thing isn't spinning. I took that one. I know I should just walk in and talk to the guy. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, like, what happened here? Looking at it won't fix it. Need to go out and repair that hull damage. Oh, so I guess, like, one section of the ship actually got just, like, busted. So to fix it, they, um... Threw a bunch of dirt and pylons and boxes against it. What? Oh, that's cool. There's a ship going by. This game has a lot of nice moments. A lot of really nice moments. Hey look, there's my ship. It's kind of looking a little rusty. Hi. Please disregard my attempted and informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Ear grub. Is this like Wrath of Khan? Let's get some better light on that. Oh yeah, that's so Wrath of Khan. That's a Wrath of Khan reference right there. Ugh, okay, anyway. What are we here to do? Okay. We're just here to open the blockers. I just can't stop myself from being distracted, okay? Look at these washrooms. Is this really a very private stall? Like do that does that door close? Like what if I'm what if I'm sitting in here? Someone walks in the bathroom. Are we gonna make eye contact? Is it gonna be weird? I feel like it's gonna be weird. It's over here. It's more of the same. Ooh. Fun shade. Raven David just entered the chat. Hey, Raven. So, okay. Can I not make. What is this? Completed. Okay. Old Earth cuisine. Let's put the bread in into the the bread box. Manufacturing one. Okay, so we gotta. Uh, okay. Okay. We done do good there. Uh. Block. 
unlocked. Oh, because we need skills. Okay. Oh, a decoration one. Okay. The robots. Heck yeah. I want more robots. Okay. Uh, robots 2 has been blocked. So I don't have outpost engineering. Ooh, mixology, yeah, let's get some uh, some bartending going. Okay, I need spice apparently. The spice must flow. Okay. What else can I do here? Beverage development. Performance enhancer. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about the research. It feels like overly complicated in a way. Oh, I guess that's like, okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, level up. Heck yeah, level nine, here we go. All right, so I kind of feel like, like some physical would be nice. Like stealth would be cool. Maximum health would be okay. Unarmed, I don't really see myself using, but I kind of do want boxing just because it seems fun. I'll be a pugilist. I need to get three more points in social to unlock the next level. But I also am very lacking in combat and very lacking in science. And tech also seems to be super important. So what would this do? Your ship has, okay, increased shields. Top speed. Energy weapons are better. More cargo capacity. This also could be very good. Advanced locks. Uh, Level four robots, you can get a robot to obey you. So you can like hack the robot. I feel like Starship Design is something I do eventually want, so I mean, just even making a little bit of progress in this. Like, even just like upgrading my jetpack, which actually, no, boost jump ten times while in combat. Oh, I see. Um, don't really care about ballistic weapons. Uh, oof. I mean, like, I feel like science would be cool. But I also don't know if I care. Ooh, experimental projects. Astrophysics. Scan the moons of your current planet. Oh, that's cool. So you can just like, you can scan any planet or moon in this system. So, okay, if I upgrade this, any planet or moon within 16 light years. Wow. So this would be great for exploring actually. Chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care about this yet. Geology. So, better mining, I guess. Oh, it actually affects, like, how many resources you find on the surface. Medicine could be good to do down the road. This also could be good, because you increase your graph, uh, you increase your, your range. And there is, okay, so there is a fuel cost. So this is like your exploration stuff. And honestly, like, I am kind of an explorer at heart. But I do feel like, what's this? Oh, I should go for a belief build. That would be so much fun. I do feel like combat could be really important. Because actually, I'm not like, I'm not like totally sucking. So right before there, shotguns can stun. Laser weapons can set people on fire. I love it. Uh, pistols can get crits. Malik kills heal you for 10%. So somehow the adrenaline heals you. And then ballistic weapon ranges. Or just make grenades more powerful. Well, that, that's down the road. But I kind of feel like I do want to become like a master of persuasion here. 
advance, but I can't advance in that because of that. Like, is there anything okay? Do you guys know piloting might be important later? Okay. Yeah, so maybe... Because, yeah, I guess, like, Class B ships and whatnot. And I do feel like this is an important tech track, right? Nearby enemies take damage when you boost and have a chance to catch on fire. Oh, my lord! Oh, cool. I want that. Automated weapon systems. Oh. EM weapons. Okay. Better missiles. Particle beams sound fun. I like how the logo, the badge or whatever, it just like gets progressively cooler. I do really want Starship Design. Starship Engineering. Occasionally repairing one block of a system will repair the entire system. And engine systems. I don't feel like this is super, super important. Wow! While boosting, all enemies disengage the player can only reacquire them as a target after the player stops boosting. That's a crazy perk. But yeah, I kind of agree, Valor. I think piloting... Like, I do eventually want this rank 3. So let's do it. So I have to kill 15 ships just to get rank 3, so it's good to have got that now. Because, yeah, like, if I do eventually get a bigger ship... Spacey workbench. So I, I guess cannot make mods? Or maybe I just don't have the materials for mods. Just need random stuff. Yeah, I mean uh crafting systems sometimes you like them sometimes you don't most of the time i don't all right why was i here i love the design of this spaceship it's very cool well, hello i would always stop for pharmaceuticals and oranges grapes great great Heavy particle fuse. I don't know what those are, but I will. I will take them all. Exotic manufacturing component. I feel like that's good. Exotic sounds rare. How do I get out of this bathroom area? I've gotten slightly disoriented here. Alright, here we go. Oh, hello there. Vladimir. I like the sailor shirt. Let's have a chat. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Um, don't talk about my blood. <clears throat> Good to meet you, Vladimir. I'm no rook, I was a space miner. Rook on deck? That's pirate talk, isn't it? Former Crimson Fleet. An old jackalbones would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Well, you'll be happy to know that I am currently actually a Crimson Fe Fleet pilot. But don't tell anyone, I'm just infiltrating them to... Yeah, as a narc. Alright, good to meet you, Vladimir. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. That happens to me too. I get lost in something and lose time. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Hmm. Understood. I need to check with these in person. 
So you're asking me to chase ghosts that can be nothing but the sea of... Wait, the sea of light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light. And she only has one speed. Mm, go. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet. And that takes years to get here. A lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. Understood. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia, it's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old I man. I smell a side quest. I'm an old man, and I'm worried. Who's Andresia? I'll keep an eye out for Andresia. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so I'm much, Vladimir. Like that. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup one sometimes. One of the two sites, so it's like... Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Okay. So, find Andresia is, like, the next thing. So you're retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. In the Starfield? Thought I was going Why to see life's eclipse Who calls there. it the Starfield? Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? So dude's just like, you can just go check out my house. I won't be there, but like, you can you can totally mess it up. I don't care. The eyes seen all it can for the uh, moment. How did you get mixed up? With Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair. Like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain. In the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Do you visit the lodge often? I make the visit when they need me. <laughs> Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. Shots fired. Uh, your artifact search must be a full-time job. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Uh, what do you get Got paid hourly? Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data oh, I have go. to okay. sift through. Okay. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. So and I scan planets. Constellation you, you can me? slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission. This is the birth of Universal stars, Cartographics, right? people. It all started with this guy. Yeah, I could get. I could. I could do that. Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. Wait, is that what our ships use to 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 fly? Let's deal. Uh, oh, okay. So I can then sell, uh, survey data. That's cool. Show the words another time, then. Okay, useful. Good to know. If I ever need some coin after, uh, an exploration trip. Although the payouts on that, man, I mean... Even in Elite, they're a little bit disappointing, but that did not seem like a lot of money. Although... It's like, yeah, like, who cares about scans of Neptune, right? Like, that's in Seoul. I'm sure it's been scanned before many a time. Hello. 
I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep I don't know why this cycle. guy reminds me of Interstellar. He's not really the same design as Interstellar, but I get an Interstellar vibe from him. Well, that was fun. Now what? That was fun. Now what? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell me you're the mission giver? Uh, alright, um... Can I scan this? Oh, cool. I like how the scans look, actually. That's neat. Frozen. Oh, so that's you know the biomes and deciduous forest. Can I just like land on this planet? I guess I can. That's so weird to me that yeah okay this is like the planet with the Atlantis. It's so weird to me that you know from Elite where it's like oh this is an Earth-like planet, but I can actually land. Obviously not in the in the ocean. Wait, that's ocean. A really weird looking ocean. Part of me wants to do that, but I don't know, I guess that wasn't the thing that I needed to do here. Why is there just like random ships on my URL? Science outpost. <clears throat> no, I'm getting pretty tired and hungry, and I think I'm probably going to end it there. Um, Ready for action, Captain. But I mean, I feel like we made it, we made a lot of good progress. You know, uh, plot progress. You know, we we landed on the moon. We you know uh, worked our way into the Crimson Fleet. We got um, a little bit of progress in the plot. We got an artifact to our name. <clears throat> like we've done, we've accomplished quite a lot today. And um, I think next next week my plan is kind of to go back and. Um, uh, do a little bit more elite. Where, where would this be? Just want to know, like, where this wants me to go. Um, because it's been a while for elite, and like the last four weeks, I don't know. I'm, I'm still debating. I might, I might play around. Oh, so apparently there's like two different systems I have to go to. Interesting. And then where's Vectera? That's where we started, right? That was like our starting system feeling it was like the star map here is a little bit wonky where was that place that we started I'm assuming I oh wait hold on you can get right to the mission screen from there, that's cool. Or maybe Vector isn't the system name, maybe that's like... Code... Oh yeah, it was in Narian. Okay, so there's actually two reasons to go to Narian, so that's probably where we'll head... Um, next time. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'll, I might do more Star Citizen next week, um, I might do more Elite. I'm pretty resolved at this point to, like, only play Starfield... Did I call it Star Citizen again? I'm only going to play Starfield when I'm streaming it, because I kind of want to, like, actually do the whole playthrough as, as a live stream sort of series, so I can always look back on my first playthrough of Starfield and reactions and whatnot, right? Um, so yeah, wondering what FDF's plans for Halloween. Oh yeah, that's true. They usually do something for that. I also kind of really want to make an Elite... Halloween video, which is why I kind of want to move back to Elite. I know there's also um, Update 17 or whatever coming out soon or whatever. Um, I would like to try going to a Titan and trying to mine or, or like rescue civilians. Apparently you can now like extract escape pods. I think that would be like a very fun um, and challenging part of the gameplay. Um, but yeah, so I, I might do Elite next week. I might do Star Citizen, Star Field. We'll, we'll see uh, how I'm feeling. It's been nice to kind of go on a break from Elite for a bit. Whenever you kind of separate yourself from that game and come back to it, it just it, it kind of reinvigorates you a little bit. So I don't know if, if next week will be the time to do it, but I'll, I'll decide that probably next week. I'm also debating like, yeah, oh wait, hold on, what's next? Oh, sorry, sorry, next weekend, I may have to do the stream on Sunday potentially so and then the weekend after that there will be no stream um because next weekend on the saturday like i've got 
like family visits in the day and then I'm going to a bonfire on the Saturday. So I'm going to probably be doing the stream on Sunday. Uh, and then the weekend following that, we're actually doing a 48 hour film festival. And so how those work is like you go on Friday and there's a kickoff and at 7 p.m. you're given a prop, a genre, um, a line of dialogue, a character, like stuff like that. You're given criteria that you then have to write a movie or a short film, um, write, shoot, edit, and submit that short film by 7 p.m. on the Sunday. So you literally have 48 hours from the kickoff to actually submit a film. So it's a fun little creative thing. We've done it a couple times. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. That will be not this weekend coming up, which is Canadian Thanksgiving, but the next weekend. So next weekend, I will probably stream on the Sunday. If I, yeah, because, you know, it's like, I, I, I know the Saturday I've got the plans. If I'm feeling up to it, I might do like an elite stream one day and then like a star field stream the next day. And then the weekend following, there will there will be no stream. Uh, I don't know, unless we'll, I don't know, can we stream the 48-hour film festival? How do you stream from a phone? I don't know. Um, obviously, when we're done with that movie, if um, we end up putting it online or whatever, I'm sure I'll show it to you guys, but I think that has to happen after the 48-hour um, concludes or whatever. If you've never done one before and you're remotely interested in filmmaking, they are fun. You should look to look into, because they have them in cities all over, um, find people that share similar interests or already have the intention to submit and need additional crew. Because they can be a really fun, uh, rewarding little thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the next couple weeks. So I'll probably, yeah, maybe if there's a chance, because I've got the Monday off of work, I'll do like an Elite Dangerous stream and a Starfield stream over two days, like Sunday and Monday, to make up for the fact that Saturday I won't do it. And then the weekend following, nothing. However, the weekend, or the whole week after the 48-hour film festival, I have booked off work. I finally took a week off. Um, I might... Uh, about the film festival, I wonder if people use DaVinci Resolve. I mean, you could. You can use whatever software you want. Um, I think the the uh, the dude who I'm working with, he's one of our bandmates or whatever, I think he uses uh, Final Cut, and he's, like, super into it. I don't, I'm like, whatever. Um, DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure, could be useful. I mean, if you can put, if you have time to put effects in shots and stuff like that, which you know can be the case, we did this uh, two years ago though, and literally hit submit and started the upload three minutes before the deadline. And the the, the way the rules work is like you have to the upload is like timestamp, so you have to like upload start the file transfer at a certain time, and then obviously if the file doesn't get transferred until eight or nine or whatever, then it, it'll it'll happen, right? Uh, one team takes the shot, get the other edits right away. Take the video on your phone and uploads to the camera. It's instantly available in Resolve to edit. That's cool. So actually, we did that. So the, back then, this is going back uh, to like, I want to say 2015 or something like that. And um, I got a, I ran a 48 myself. I was the director for that one. Uh, in this one, I'm just coming on as a writer or an actor, whatever's needed. Maybe a PA, maybe an assistant director. Who who knows? Titles get a little blurry when you're when you're a skeleton crew, right? Um, but yeah, so we did we did a forty eight hour film festival, and so before we had the script, like we got our prop and genre, and I think our 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 like you had to include a color in in that one, and the color was burnt orange. So what I did was I'm like, okay, um, Jeff and you and and you like like three or four people go out and start getting footage of just orange things in the city sunsets traffic lights um whatever you can find that, that fits with that theme and this will be great for a, kind of an intro so one team will start writing the script and fleshing out the scenes like i'll work with the actors and we'll get sort of the plot and script but you guys just go out as a b camera unit and 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 film right and when they got back it's like okay cool let's charge those batteries right because then you got to swap in the new batteries and then, um, Jeff, you stay here and start editing. I'll bring Kirill out, who's the other guy who has camera experience, and we'll start filming um, the first scene. And then after that scene's back, Kirill can come, ingest the footage, start editing it, while Jeff, you come out and shoot the next stuff. So we kind of had, like, sort of two guys that were, like, camera slash editors. Um, and it was neat, because we were able to really be efficient um, and get a lot of stuff done. In fact, even before the 48-Hour Film Festival, what I did was went to... 
local cafes. I went to a bookshop. I went to like a whole bunch of different locations, little businesses and said, hey, you know, we're going to be doing, um, you know, this like 48 hour film festival. And we're wondering if we could use your location potentially to shoot on it. Um, we don't know whether we'll need it or not, but, you know, um, what we need, like release forms and stuff like that. So I figured, well, if you're cool to do it, sign this release form saying that it's cool. Let me know who I can coordinate with on the day of, right? So we had like a lot of stuff really well prepared. This year, the guy who's running it, well, let's just say we got to, I hope over the next weekend we get a little more preparation. It might just be like five people uh, with nothing really planned out. But you know, honestly, uh, you give creative people a 48 hour timeline and a few things that they have to accomplish and sometimes it actually still turns out really well, right? But I was, you know, I was uh, pretty, uh, what do you call it, proactive with like putting that stuff together. Um, gibberish, need coffee. I'll put something on the Black Magic Cloud on Discord. Yeah, I mean, she, she, put that in the Discord because I would be interested in knowing that for myself anyway. I love that idea of just like, yeah, like being able to have the footage upload to the cloud so that like you could have someone sitting back at home base editing and, and like, have the the field crew like they don't have to like, like back in the day where it's like when i was really making a lot of films and stuff it was mini dv so you had to then rewatch that footage and capture it it was not like yeah just insert the capture card and move the footage over from onto the hard drive like you had to watch the footage and capture it right which is crazy to think about and then i talk about that and then there's people that dealt with film and that's like you you didn't even know what you shot until you know after you get the film developed, right? Anywho, uh, yeah, I gotta call it call it a night there. I gotta get some uh, something in my belly, uh, starting to get peckish. But hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed the little romp in Starfield. I think it's just it's been interesting every single time. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this game, and I highly recommend it. If anyone is into space, if you play Elite, you play Star Citizen, you play No Man's Sky, and you like one aspect about them, you'll probably like different aspects about this game, but. But damn, it is it is a fun game. Or if you like the Bethesda games, it's a natural progression there too. Whether you're into space games or Bethesda RPGs or whatever, man, it's it's just been really cool so far. So I hope that that continues to uh, delight as we go through. But thanks guys for for sticking around. Um, have a good night yourself, 07, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.